and running. Welcome back to the Weekend Pick a Title Podcast. Hey. BG here. Oh, this is JT right over here. Welcome, and welcome. We also have our lovely guests. Yay! Hi, everyone. <laughs> Very happy to be here. Yay. In studio, officially, officially here. here. I know, right? I can't believe it. <laughs> Finally, after schedule conflicts and everything else. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been a busy little year so far. Well, we're, we live like 15 minutes away from each other, right? So it's yes. tough, to, it's tough to get everybody, you know. Well, it took me 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But I did, I did, well, there you go. So. I did pull over at one point because there was somebody that clearly wanted to get by me. Ah. I was like, oh, I'm just going to be generous and let yeah, him go. Yeah, yeah. If, if you think you can drive the roads at 80, then I'll just, would rather be behind you. They, they yeah, I, I'd, yeah. Like, I'd like to get out of the way. I don't want to be in the way. No, 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 no. <laughs> they had another podcast to get to. <laughs> exactly. Like, come on. They're still doing radio. They're like, I got a time limit. I got to be there at a certain time. We're like, just do a podcast, man. It's yeah. more flexible. It's easier. That's what the new. <laughs> Thing is. So, I mean, if you're a regular listener or viewer or whatever, you yeah. know them our segments from so, 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 Soma, so, Soma says. says. This is the famous this is Soma. The lovely and the talented Soma. Lovely and knowledgeable and uh, patient Soma. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I, it, it's so funny because it's sort of just, we never really like established i think i can't even remember what the first one was i should have looked it up on like i think i think i just asked a few questions probably about (laughs) word origins or something and and you jumped on it and you knew well and i think you actually might have said like listeners what do you know about this word i'm like well i'm listening what do i know about this word let's see it was so helpful (laughs) i know about words that's great (laughs) so how do you know about words why do why do you know so much about them uh well, I started writing poetry like a lot of people do when I was a teenager. Oh, nice. Yeah. They were encouraging uh, that. Real angsty, you know, deep kind of stuff. That's what I did anyway. Not angst. No. <laughs> these were more like uh, like to boys. Ah, uh, right. Love. Okay. All right. And also girls. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like love poems that never went anywhere. <laughs> never, yeah, no one else ever saw them. That's, that's, you know, really the useful. Safest. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Super safe love T- poems. Tucked them away somewhere where nobody would ever Stuffed see them. Stuffed in a mattress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> and my brother, my older brother, was also a writer. Um, and it wasn't so much that I wanted to be like him. It just, I felt a natural thing towards language. Yeah. Uh, and, and expressing myself writing. Um, I grew up in a house that had like always a ton of books. Oh, that's um, so cool. Right. And my, my, both of my parents are readers. Oh, uh, nice. Before my parents met, my dad apparently wrote tons and tons of poetry. Oh, wild. Um, and so, yeah, language. And also my dad, English is his second language. Oh, okay. um, I didn't know that. So he grew up in Hungary and spoke Hungarian oh, as his okay. first language and didn't start to learn English until he was 16 and, and ended up in, in Toronto. Uh, and that's quite a story. He, ex- he survived the Holocaust and, and oh my was, God. Jew- is Jewish. Wow. Incredible. A- ethnic background, not religiously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Both of his parents went to camps and they both survived. Which is That's phenomenal. The Their marriage numbers. didn't survive. Just but, the, yeah, exactly. But the people survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all. That wow. <laughs> you can always get a new marriage. And uh, <laughs> if you really want one. <laughs> and you know, no, that's what happened. My grandfather, uh, he was such a good worker that when he was injured, uh, they put him in a medical facility to get him better, so that he would go back to work. Oh wow! And he ended up falling in love with the nurse oh. in there. Oh. Nice. That's the same as my granddad and my grandma. And of course, you know, they weren't, my, my grandparents weren't at the same camp. They had no idea if each other were alive. They're, they're surviving. They right. might die any day. So everybody's dying. Who the heck knows? <laughs> yeah. Every, you know, ag- marriage agreements kind of disintegrate yeah, to a yeah. certain degree. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> when you might die. Over yeah. time. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, wow. You hope for the best, but you don't know. It's not like you can check Facebook and be like, is their account active? <laughs> Send a WhatsApp. <laughs> you don't have Facebook in the camps. No. no. <laughs> oh. uh, but yeah, and then the Russians came in in 56, and so my grandfather helped my father. was like, okay, I'll, I'll help you leave now, or you're sort of on your own. And my father 
was very courageous and and went for it and had family in Toronto. Oh, wow. So yeah. ended up finding, you know, hooking up with the Red Cross somewhere and they got him to Toronto. That's so, incredible. That's a crazy story. Like, hey, well, when you're 16, you that's what happened when he was 16. 16. Yeah. Can you imagine, hey, like, I just, I was worried about what car I'm going to drive. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, yeah. I, I was worried yeah. about how to get to the horse show. Yeah. Do I take my car down to the bridge for the party to get drunk at or not? Or should you I know? get a ride? Yeah. Hey. I'm stuck there. Oh. I was like, ooh, driver's license year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For like, all of us. Yeah. Man, that's, hey. that's our biggest excitement. <laughs> it was a war in itself for me, really. I mean, you know, <laughs> I had it just as rough. Oh I can't, can't even okay. say that. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> but you know, he landed in he landed in Toronto, really not knowing any English. All right. Uh, and so he was the age, I think, to be in grade ten. Yeah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. They wanted to put him back a couple years because of the language right. issue. Oh, yeah, and he was like, "No, I'll do grade ten three times rather than be put back." Right. Um, he passed it the first year. Incredible. Yeah, well, I was going to say uh, usually. You know, back then it was mainly the radio that he used to learn English. Oh, and this is one of my favorite stories. Oh. I used to teach English language learners, um, and to make them feel better, because they would always they would often feel stupid about their English. Yeah, for sure. And I was like, it is such a hard language. Yeah. <sighs> so, but my favorite story to share is that when my dad was learning English and listening to the radio in Toronto in the fifties. Uh, lots of hockey <coughs> games oh, were broadcast. Oh, of course. Right. And so he's, he didn't, under, he didn't understand hockey, obviously. <laughs> because he's thought that the greatest hockey player of all time, the dude's name, was he shoots Because he shoots, he scores all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so he literally thought that there was a hockey player named oh, he shoots I love that. <laughs> That's so great. Like a... I thought you were Go ahead. Going to get a jersey made up with that on the back. <laughs> what well, would his number be? 16. 16? Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah, you shoot it. Or you yeah, can pick another sure. one. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, we have got a house key because that's our thing. Is Because we used to always ask, like, when we'd leave the house, especially in Alberta, you'd lock the doors and do you have your house key? So it all came out just, hey, you got a house key? Got a house key? So I did. I always do like, a, got a house key, pass over to got a barbecue, got a barbecue, barbecue off over to got a house key, got a house key, shoots, he scores! So we started doing that. Yeah, and one yeah. of my clients, Dawn, she's like, oh, got a house key. So it's Ivan got a house key. So uh, yeah. you had to give it a first name. So now when we're asking if you have the house key, it's Ivan. Ivan? And, and which is and car keys now as well. Yeah. You know, Ivan, you just make sure, yeah, got him. <laughs> I could imagine also like a, like a, I've got a. Yeah. 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 I've got Java. 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 Sounds like It's almost exotic. like Java. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, do you have a? No, yeah. it's Java. Java. <laughs> it's almost Jamaican. They're like a Jamaican <laughs> hockey player. Oh, my God. It's got to be one or two of those out there somewhere. <laughs> oh, I've been watching Ted Lasso. That reminds me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you like it? Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Hey. I haven't yeah. watched I I, 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 Oh, what's the word? Words. Um, I... Binge is that the show? Yeah, yeah, we'll go yeah. with that. That's whatever. Yeah. Most of the it. first, most of the first season in one day. Oh, nice! nice. Yeah, hey. and the second season. Have you watched that yet? I'm a, I'm a little over halfway through. Okay. Yeah. Because that's I was. It kind of got sadder for the second yeah. season or something. Yeah, I I watched that's second the one season I and watched, and I think I might have to watch it again because I felt the same way about Barry. The latest season of Barry got really dark and really not funny, but then we watched it again and I really laughed a lot. Yeah. So I might have to watch Ted Lasso again because I found the second one was like, and I get, I like it for what it is, but it was too many feelings. Yeah, let's go with that. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, there was this sort of. I'm not even done the second season, but I can already sense that there's like a layers of onions being peeled. Yeah, for sure. So we only really got the first layer the in yeah. the first season, but my gosh, about. it was really obvious that there was a whole bunch of shit underneath everything we Under were finding Ted. out. Yeah, hey. well, yeah. And other yeah. people too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And in the second season, yeah, so far it's been this revealing. A lot of and character there's now And there's now like a team therapist, and that's like... Whoosh. Yeah, the therapist is so awesome. So everybody's She's unpacking. Great. Yeah. Unpacking all their emotions. But then there's this tension, and, and, you know, Ted's, like, the head of the team, and he's like, but I should be able to figure everyone out and help everyone. Yeah. Right. He's, he's sort of like the most resistant. Replaced. And then you find yeah. out why. Yeah. And I'm not going to spoil yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, because <I don't, laughs> you haven't watched the second season at all yet, hey? 
I don't no, think I so. watched it a little bit. I think you? I think you I were ahead. like not up for it, or he kept warning me. It's a little like you know, it's a little bit more sad. So mm-hmm. are you feeling like you can handle that? And <laughs> most days I'm like, no. Yeah. No, that's not my choice of entertainment. Is sadness. Sometimes a, a guinea pig shows for you. Yeah. Oh, that's a good, yeah. yeah. That's it's a nice good, good a thing to have driver. a partner for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this new show, Outlast, on Netflix. Yeah. It's like, it's executive produced by Jason Bateman, because he's oh, a big fun. fan of Alone. Yeah. It, off history. I don't know if you've seen it, it had like a survival type show. I don't know. Anyway, it's Outlast, it's survival, but it's, they add in this whole team dynamic thing, where so it's, it's like, these people are itself. stealing from this other camp, and it just becomes oh, this whole super dramatized thing, and I'm like, oh yeah, I think I hate this. Yeah, I, I it's think more I do. Like the American you know? Survivor. Well, it's and like that. It's like yeah. the cross, the cross between reality TV and soap opera. Right. Yeah, right. for sure. Some people, I mean, some Drive people probably that. love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like Black Mirror. Do you watch Black Mirror? No. Oh, no, yeah. I have. I, mm, most of my viewing is like dinner company type viewing. Oh, nice. Okay. Because I live alone, and if I'm just eating alone all the time without anything, it gets kind of sad. Yeah. I could see that. But and dinner company, like, like there are TV shows that I love that are amazing, but they're really bad dinner company. Oh. <laughs> like, I can't get an I or something. Because I'm the kind of person, like, when why when I watch an action movie, yeah. I've got wet armpits by the end of the movie. You're being. Because those are, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Like, it gets, gets visceral. Yeah. So go through the door! So if it's dark or scary or, like, a hor like, anything, yeah. it's like, kinda... even, like, I love Walking Dead. Like, I used to read the comics and the oh, graphic wow, novels. Okay, yeah. But I, it's horrible dinner company. Yeah. It's horrible. Like, it'll it's give me really, indigestion. It's, it's not good. It's really hard to eat something with a lump in your throat. I love the dinner company. That's so great. Jason has a TV show on because he doesn't like to hear himself chew. That's my thing. Yeah. He doesn't like the sound of his mouth. And extra kissing mouth juices. Stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, there's, a yeah. Whole, there's a whole word yeah. for that. Yeah. That sensitivity. Yeah, we talked about it a few episodes ago. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, words. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Tangentville. Hello. Tangent Road. <laughs> Tangent Road beats the Tangent Road. It does. It does. We keep getting in trouble for that from Chris. Time. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. Yeah. So uh, we'll put like in the show notes because Chris will be like, okay, well, you never did tell us what dirty fries are. <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. I was like, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> you got to keep them coming back, right? Yeah. You leave them, you yeah, you have to have someone sort of like collecting all the dropped, like, Cars of thought, you know, yeah. like train cars of thought. Yeah. Like, yes. oh, that one fell off. <laughs> I Where'd was interested, but <laughs> that's, that's my thoughts. Work. Like, once we're at like a million subscribers, then there'll be enough people that'll comb over everything and then call us out on it. You know, hey, what about this in episode three? <laughs> like, oh didn't shit! Yeah, we'll have some homework to do down the road. I think but. it'd be cool to have like a like a like a. Like a call out episode where you sort of stack them all. Oh right, That's yeah, yeah, idea. right, yeah. yeah. And so, like, particular, like, get viewers yeah. to like, what, what have we not followed up on? Right. What have we yeah. not right. done the end of? Right, tell us. Right, what do you, you still have hear? questions yeah. about? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, call us out on our shit episode. Oh wow, we went from a ten. We, I almost got back to the to, to the. the <laughs> Just about. Almost. <laughs> Nearly made it. Uh, words. That was that yeah. words. Words in me. Uh. Etymology. Right. Well, that kind of, I mean, the etymology thing comes from partly from my dad, but also partly from uh, a man named Robin Blazer, who was my poetic mentor and guide. uh, One of the best readers of my poetry I've ever Oh, had the blessing okay. to meet, and okay. he uh, he passed in two thousand and nine. Oh, brutal! Oh, um, yeah. And we like we were friends for the last six years of his life. Oh, great nice. name, Robin Blazer. Yeah, that's a great name. <laughs> uh, he his connection to words was one that really affected me, and the way he understood etymology was basically that every word has its own narrative and comes with its own story. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's oh, sure. that's the space in which it can have meaning. Right. right. And yeah. all the and and the way that he would use the language is he would say a word but it wouldn't just mean he wouldn't just mean one layer of meaning. Right. He wanted to have sort of the ghost layers of all the old meanings be showing up and haunting the word. I love that. Yeah, that's oh, great. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my favorite part is like where where did it flip from this meaning to this meaning? And some is obvious. I, I don't have any examples offhand. Some are, you know, a slight change from this to that meaning. But some are completely opposites, completely different. Like, where did that, 
how and how many people had to hear that for that to officially change into that's mm-hmm. the new meaning of that new word. Not the new word, but the new meaning of it. It's just, I, that's what I like about it. You know, yeah, it just, because it's all, and there's always a mystery to it because it's all based just on usage. That, that's exactly. There's no official other than the dictionary. The other thing that comes to mind... Oh, hello, Ted. More tangents! <laughs> Yay, tangent room! Um, uh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I, did I lose the tangent <laughs> stream before I, before I got That's the hard the part, yeah. Song. <laughs> Track me back. Where were we at? Was the it... Oh, meanings. Words and all the different... And where they flip um, and the usage. The haunting. Basically, the usage is what changes it. Oh, yeah. What people say. I don't know. I don't know. It's it gone. If it's important, it'll come back. <laughs> exactly. So speaking of which, what do you got in your bowl? Thought trails, thought, thought trains derail. Um, what do I have in my thought bowl? Trains I have... derail. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Is it Death Star? I think it might be Death Star. Oh, okay. Star. Nice. It's the same nice. stuff that we had on that my we had birthday. before. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. It was yeah. Delicious. Nice. Um, nice. And it's it's topped with uh, Master Jedi. Keith. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> full Star Wars action here. <laughs> Aim for that Star- portal. I didn't even realize I wasn't aiming for it. I was like, oh shit, I'm it's doubling up on that. Yeah, yeah. Just a real Grogu fan over here. <laughs> full Rebel there. Yeah. Or... So, what's your favorite uh, Star Wars character? Oh, wow. That's that a weird question. No, that's great. <laughs> Just left field. I love it. I mean, it could yeah. be like new, the wow. new ones or old ones. Or... Does that I never go, really does that got go for the all old that fruit? familiar with the new ones. Growing up, it was the gold dude. So C three PO. Yeah, C three PO was the my, gold dude. Yeah, awesome. was my favorite growing up. Hmm. And my... and then I think I had like my brother let me play with like one of the like squid commander guys or yeah. whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So I thought it was mine up until my brother moved back to the island and I'm telling everybody all about my cool squid guy. And he's like, no, that was the one I let you play with because I didn't like it. I was like, oh, so uh, it was yes. mine. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, I know this sort of the sibling thing where, you know. <laughs> Realities are revealed when ones are adults. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. like I'd like to learn more about that kind of stuff because you know you have your own little perception. You know, baby kid, I was the youngest. Wait, find, so. Finders keepers isn't a real thing. <laughs> Damn it! Wait, isn't what's that thing like? The possession. Nine, possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that. that's such bullshit. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, if that. you move far enough away, it is. Um, the. <laughs> The other, the other part of sort of, it is a kind of etymology. Uh, my dad studied psycholinguistics. Oh wow! Psycholinguistics? Yeah, I can't even spell that. It's the weird. <laughs> the, the psycho is the it's the ps right. It's yeah. the psych. Like, it's, so it's p s y c h o linguistics. So it's what you think when you speak. It's. Or the... it's the psychology of language. Right. So how do how does and for some people of course does it or if it does yeah. right. The, our language use sort of reflect and affect our psychology. Mm. Uh, like if somebody's using lots of buffer words, like I, I'm just doing this, or yeah. you know, like just trying to soften everything all the time because they don't want to get in trouble. Huh. And but okay. also, it, like it goes, you know, the way that I, one of the first things that comes to mind is sort of when people refer to all of their belongings is shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, right. What does that mean? Right, uh, right, right. All this crap I have laying around. Right. right. And right. the cool thing about right. it, and my favorite thing treasures. about it, is, <laughs> is words that we take for granted, understanding, but we don't think about the root word. So the words that are for, like changed, and the biggest one for me is discipline. Okay, because discipline would mean like doing something regularly and getting good at it for me. Right, if I think but about self discipline is like whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a but there's a sort of rigidity or a or a clear focus in both of those. Absolutely. That's the like the underlying And so 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 self discipline and the idea, you know, I mean there's even that that book, Discipline and Punishment. Or Punishment and Discipline, I forget okay. which order the words go in. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh I think it's Foucault, I think it's philosophy. But it, there's this sort of hardness or harsh sense to discipline. Right. Yeah. So even with self-discipline, it feels sort of like, oh, I have to be 
on myself. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like a scolding. Yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. what it is, you know what the root of discipline is? I assume disciple. Yeah. yeah. Disciple. So imagine uh, the different, the completely different energy sure. yeah. to think about being your own disciple, being yeah. a disciple of oneself. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's not scolding. Right. It's not rigid. Right. It's oh. It's almost mentoring, nurturing. But it's I have to know myself in order right. to be able to be d to a disciple. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So it's following my own it's guide, following my gut, yourself. following. Yeah. Wow. So it so discipline is actually like a following of a truth or a following of a of a commitment. Yeah. Right. It's not a punishment. Hmm. It's, it's not a scolding. It's not a wooden spoon. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. It has but there's been. there's other words like that. I don't know that I'll be able to think of another one right yeah. now. Yeah, That's a for fantastic sure. example though. When I was I always use discipline in writing. Like I always tell people like you know, oh, what, what's it like to be a writer? And I'm like, discipline. You just that's that's the it. first, and I don't care how good of a writer you are, if you don't have the discipline to do it, you just won't. I mean, that goes with anything, anything you want to do, right? It's Obviously. Like using that muscle. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just doing that's it regularly. What I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I was and, going and that, it's, No, no. It's, <laughs> a, it's, um, but there's a, there's a disciple quality of that. Mm. Because if the act that you want to do is writing, yeah. Then writing becomes you are a disciple of writing. To be a disciple of writing, you have to write. Right. Yeah. 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 There's right. no yeah. other. Just, yeah. Not really. Yeah. You can't be a writer There's without. No other, you know. Yeah. It's an activity. Yeah. Writing. Yeah. It's I I ing. It's an. It's yeah. an inging. It's a doing. Yeah. yeah. I can't sing yeah. it onto the page. <laughs> tap dance it onto the page. Oh, maybe I'm a good tap dancer. Oh right. God! Yeah. <laughs> it no, reminds no. me of the. <laughs> the, the uh, there was this sort of fad in academia for a while. It was. Where people would like dance their dissertations, like, like I'm gonna I'm interpretive gonna, dance. Oh, interpretive yeah, yeah. dance. I thought that was just a just a joke. It's real. <laughs> well, no, I think it was like a fad joke. Okay, it was like a joke okay. Fad. I don't think it was. <laughs> we're doing it. That'd be so great. Early nineties, I'm guessing. I mean, I imagine if there's such a thing as a PhD in dance. Right. Then the final would probably well, you, be a performance, yeah. but it, you wouldn't be interpreting a text, right? It would, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder. Hey, I bet there's still some essays involved. You know, that'd be something. You go to dance, like, oh, what the hell? It's all writing. Write your essay. <laughs> you know? with you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, I used to take Aikido. I went to this amazing school oh, nice. in Boulder, Colorado, uh, Naropa. Naropa. It was Naropa Institute, and now it's Naropa University, but it's a Buddhist run oh, wow. institute. It's is, a Buddhist run school. Is it a martial art? Is that. Oh, okay. So, I mean, Aikido is a martial art, yeah. but the thing mm -hmm. about Naropa is that they wanted to offer and practice con what they called contemplative education. Oh, okay. So often universities sort of educate you from the neck up. Yeah. Uh, but they wanted to educate the body and the mind and the spirit all at the same time. That's a uh, incredible. So regardless of your major, yeah. uh, you have to take an, uh, at least one contemplative course. Okay. So you could take meditation, they had Chinese brush stroke. They had like Japanese tree sculpture and oh wow, right. what is like that? Bonsai, bonsai and yeah. kibana, which My is mom Japanese did bonsai flower for arranging. A while. Oh, wow. And That's you could great. do Aikido. They also had Tai Chi. Wow. wow. I tried Tai Chi, but I'm not a morning person. And classes were like at six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a lot of ball energizing. And it was. Yeah. It would have been. <laughs> the thing also was it was in really early morning class, and the first thing you do is stay still. It was like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I don't Can meditate when it? I first get up because I just fall back asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I've heard people be like superstitious about like falling asleep while meditating because you're like open in this open sense. And I think, well, if if you're meditating, you're like a ball of light, so there isn't going to be. Demons trying to get oh, in. Oh, like it's like this too vulnerable kind of idea. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And I was like, I don't know. If you're all in, like you're vibrating at a higher frequency, I don't think. I've definitely fallen asleep while meditating. And then demons didn't get you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Just I don't know. Obviously, they make themselves. There's one new episode <laughs> of Black Mirror that's got a demon in it, and it's. it's... He's very obvious. I love him. It's the greatest <laughs> character. Wow, nice. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, I did, I've, I did two different degrees at this school, a BA in writing and literature and an MFA in writing and poetics. Oh, nice. Um, and what's, what's an MFA? Master of Fine Arts. Okay, right. And yeah, at yeah, one yeah. point in time, it was what they call a terminal degree, that in the fine arts 
pathway in academia. Masters was as far as, far as you could you get. Know. However, the school I went to, they had a poetics program within the English department. So that's why I went there. Um, but yeah, like I couldn't write poetry for my degree. I wrote like a 185 page essay, basically. That's the doctoral dissertation. About yeah. poetry. And I actually did the whole thing about Robin Blazer's poetry. Oh, okay, oh, nice. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah. Something different, probably, eh, than everybody else. Yeah, in you fact, know. one of my one of my dissertation advisors uh, uh, said that it was career death to write my whole dissertation on a single author that wasn't famous. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, yeah, advice. But, but part of that also focused, is, at least. is that. Poets that are famous and who considers poets to be famous is sort of subjective. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Because, uh, like, Rob, like Blazer, <laughs> Blazer got his start in San Francisco in poetry in the 40s and ended up in Vancouver teaching uh, at a university. I think it started in the late, late 70s? Late 60s, maybe? I forget right now. Um, so he ended up in Vancouver and was living in Vancouver. And in Vancouver and in like California, he's a he's a very he's a very oh, famous okay. poet. Okay. And in Canada, he's quite well known. Right. Yeah. Uh, he won the Canadian Governor General's Award for poetry, oh, okay. which is one of the biggest Canadian prizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. What's the uh, what do they call the is it the Canadian Order of Canada? The Order of Canada. Yeah, Order yeah. of Canada. Yeah. I know there's a few poets in there. Throwing an extra Canada in there. Yeah, just a couple Canadas in there. The <laughs> Canadian Order of Canada, as <laughs> opposed to the other country's hey? Order of Throwing Canada. Of those oh, there, yeah. I can finally. This is such a wonderful hopping around episode. <laughs> um, I can finally tell you my favorite joke. Oh, oh good! It's one of my favorite jokes, <laughs> and it's like a. It's like a like a. It was my favorite joke from when I was like nine years nice. old. Oh, okay. Nice. How do you spell Canada? C A N A. C A. N A D A. Is it the A? <laughs> yeah. It's C E H N E H. Yeah. I've seen it spelled like that on like t shirts yeah. and stuff now. Yeah. It's a good way to remember yeah. if you're struggling. <laughs> and you understand Canadian stereotypes. I right. didn't think I said A that often. And when I was 19 and I was in hairdressing <laughs> school, I was doing my first men's haircut. You know, like you'd done some on your mannequins or whatever so that like, i have my first client in front of me and i'm like trying to get through his hair and afterwards my my teacher talked to me about it and and i did okay on the haircut but i would like blurt out something to have a conversation with this guy and then be concentrating so hard i wasn't listening <laughs> and everything was like oh yeah hey eh? hey eh? <laughs> eh? what a, yeah hey eh? and when the the guy wound up coming to me regularly for the nice. next like eight months that I was there doing <laughs> doing hair, but he totally made fun of me because he wasn't from Canada, and I probably said a forty times because I was so fucking nervous I couldn't pull my shit together and was concentrating on not getting the hair wrong. Yeah. He probably thought you were just doing it extra just to mess with him. Yeah, you know? and of course I'd go beat red in the face because I thought he was handsome and yeah, it was traumatizing. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it fun having the skin tone that goes beet red? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure yours is a little bit worse, sort of yeah. relatively than mine, yeah. but I'm pale enough that it... It's there, you see it. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm like, obvious. do I have rosacea? Is because I found out people get, like, skin disorders that wind up really red, and I'm like, oh my god, maybe that's what's wrong with me, in air quotations. And it's like, no, people could just see that you're flushed. No, gingers, yeah. gingers tend to have that flush, that flushing skin. Yeah, yeah, everybody's like, oh, look at the vapors. Yeah. Well, and it tends to be if, like, you know, I I, I have some sun damage on my <laughs> front here. Um, it's not just from today. It's like, yeah. it's just always there. It's compounding. <laughs> yeah. um, but people who tend to sunburn really quickly also tend to blush oh. and be really, really obviously. It's our lack of pigment. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm in a sauna or a hot tub, I'm red as, yeah. red as anything. <laughs> like, so red. I think it just shines through, you know. Yeah, that's what I was actually saying. <laughs> no, no freckles I, to block I, it. I, uh, I had some blood tests recently, and in the hospital, I was like, should be easy. My skin's a little bit translucent right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just run a flashlight over it, you know, should be able to see it. Oh, look at this. So in our bowl, 
We have uh, something five. Cush number five. <laughs> something. The, the, the sweet little <laughs> lady that we got it from. I asked her, like, what do you got? She's like, well, I got cush number four and I got cush number five. I said, okay, what's the difference? She's like, well, one is four and one is five. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's, yeah. Oh, that's one of those the obvious is <laughs> yeah, mysterious. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, me. of course. I said, which one's better? She says, I don't know, the number five is perfect. I'll take it. Yeah, if, if, if higher is better, yeah, maybe. Exactly. If yeah. The higher the number, the higher yeah, one higher will be, you maybe. Know, get. This one, these ones go to 11, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Spinal Tap reference. Thanks. Have you ever seen Spinal Tap? We should watch that, actually. Uh, I don't think I did, oh, yeah. because I think like I all, thought all it was All the ant dials go to 10, but these ones go to these 11. These ones go to 11. <laughs> That's a great yeah. gag. Oh, yeah, I always Oh, I always you have a little it. topper. Oh, I Especially, was wondering. Well, Good design. Specifically because I top mine with Keith, having a topper is important to sort oh, of... Oh, yeah, it just Otherwise, it just keeps burning. Yeah, yeah, otherwise it's an incense cone. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I can't smoke it that quickly. Especially yeah. by yourself, if you're yeah. smoking it by yourself. You know. That's why I always tell her, I'm like, Crystal's burning. Crystal's burning away. <laughs> I'll be like, She'll just be talking blah, away. Blah, blah, She'll just be blah, smoke blah, lifting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. The create the best, you know, passing the joint around big circles. In the old days, the, the yeah. line we always used to use was, dude, it's not a microphone. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be like, pass the mic. <laughs> that's always my thing. Hey, yeah, pass the mic. Yeah, yeah. Or it's yeah. a talking stick. It's not a microphone. A talking stick, yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do, like three or four joints you know we just like have a bunch yeah, for was, a oh, party yeah. and you know it's going to be the same five people and so they'd start just like you know telling the story and holding it i found it was usually like cigarette smokers usually hold on to it because especially after you've had a couple of drinks you're used to holding your smoke yeah right you don't pass your smoke around to everybody else so you get used to holding it well, no, I, myself included, yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I used to watch the circle, like when you'd have like a circle of however many people, four or five, and then you're all smoking three or four joints. Because, you know, you brought one, and you brought one, and I brought one. Let's smoke them all together. No, but what's really and, funny is when there's a traffic jam. Well, that's yeah. it. And one person's like, shit, I've got one in each hand, and there's another one right next to me. passing it back the other way. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, my God. Or... Weed, weed crisis. Yeah. I, I used to do the math. I'd watch the, like, okay, well, this that one's going a little bit slower than this one's going a little bit faster. So eventually it's going to go to him. Ha ah, he's got it. I just play the game in my head. So like, oh, I had this. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to not smoke this and pass it because some are coming fast. Yeah, that, exactly. That yeah, exactly. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Pass the shorter one. Take the bigger <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah, here, you can try on that all you want. Good luck yeah. holding that. Yeah. <laughs> or like if this person has to basically put the whole thing in their mouth already, I'm like, no, we're, that's, yeah. we're done. Yeah, we're exactly. Done. Yeah. That. yeah, I'm not even holding that. You just pass that to the next person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nobody really uses roach clips anymore. Have you noticed that? I, I mean, well, in the last it's, 20 it's not, years. It's not really... Is everybody just puts filters in them now, so you don't need to? Yeah, oh. there's 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 that, and there's also the sort of the, the how much things do you want to carry around yeah. with you. Yeah, right. yeah. all the right. weed point. accessories. Now that I have my phone with me and everything, that takes up so much pocket space. Yeah. That takes up all my roach clip space. Well, yeah. and I think the stigma of roach clips too. It's like yeah, pretty hippie. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little yeah. smelly and it's, it's, yeah. it may even be a little like, that's Heat a score. little bit too desperate that you're smoking that much at the all end. All the way down to the end. end. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. I don't understand. That's where all the resin yeah. you know, <laughs> like piles shit. up there, you know? <laughs> and then you don't have to fish with it. Well, I like uh, the old school, the... What do you call it? I was going to say forceps, but they're not forceps. Wait, but the clamps, you know, like yeah, the surgical like a clamps. Yeah, surgical clamp. Yeah, surgical situation. clamp. Yeah, those are the like best. Scissors. You clamp those on like right off the bat. Yeah, Light yeah. it up, and, then, and then you pass that around. The best, you know? the best, the best clips that I have are old. I don't know if there might. I don't think they're surgical clips because they almost look like a pair of like a long pair of hair cutting scissors. Okay. Oh but yeah, the yeah. End, is curved, yeah. and each side has little metal teeth, yeah. and yeah. they go together. It's basically, I think it's what they use to, like, suture, like, yeah. to pull to pull the sutures through. Yeah, that to grab sense. the other yeah. side And it's, it. it's yeah. a medical yeah. thing, so it just yeah. clamps and locks yeah. under the end of it. It's like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, those are yeah. great. And you just pass those around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dropping it at the beach. <laughs> remember, we, remember we had the letter holder at one time, and it had, like, it was on, like, a ladybug weight or something it was oh, like an envelope right. or a yeah, card we holder and it had like a spring on it so you'd like oh and it was like a little zip clip yeah, yeah a little yeah exactly. yeah yeah so yeah. don't try to use that thing yeah. oh that's good really, for fun though like a ball, yeah. watch, watch the joint sort of yeah exactly you know, like, yeah, everybody's sure. eyebrows are like, catching on fire ooh, ooh, <laughs> try to go for it go. that was fun oh, man <laughs> yeah even when we got together i was still using roach clips back then but like 
I just yeah. sort of realized I'd never see anybody use Well, the there was a big switch away from joints to bowls at some yeah. point in my sort yeah. of marijuana history. Yeah. yeah. It was like, it was after high school for me. Yeah. I graduated in 91 and still joints. Like, it was so, like, I could roll a joint with my hands in a backpack at the beach. You there roll was, a beautiful joint. Nice. There was, there was, I was actually trained, like, I was taught. That's great. An old friend of mine put... <laughs> got a PhD. <laughs> an old friend of mine put a like big salad, like family sized salad bowl full of pot in front of me, and he said, "If you want to learn how to roll a good joint, roll this bowl." That's how you do. Oh, By yeah. the time you're at your last few, you're going to be really good. Yeah. It's way better than me trying to tell you what to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I did. The only thing, but he did give me one instruction. He said, Where, e- if, "Wherever, like, roll it naturally, and wherever there's a lump." When you set the weed inside, set it the opposite way. Okay. So if you roll pregnant joints naturally, yeah. when you set the joints, the marijuana, before you make it shallow in the middle. Ah, uh, so oh, like right. Because you're, 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 you will right. naturally make it... Right. Yeah, your yeah. thumbs are going to push it to the middle. Yeah. Exactly. That makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. And well, then he gave me, he gave me a hint there. about how to tuck the end roll of the paper in when you start to roll well, it so awesome. it doesn't get folded back. Yeah. And that's a trick where you have to almost bend the joint. Yeah, you pre... pre- oh, yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. Zip, like, like this, and yeah. you have to you have to sort of give it a little bit of tension so it, bend so it hooks so in. So it wants to snap yeah, in that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. My, my trouble is I always end up losing... Oh, the ends. No matter yeah. what, I, I've tried, like, you tuck in the ends first, you try blah, blah, blah. I've tried everything. Just, I think it's a it volume thing. It all just the size. And I definitely pack way too much into a joint. Yeah. Into a paper. That's why I do two papers. Because yeah. then well, it's just easier for me to... And so... It's not necessarily a bigger joint, you, in, in, but, I mean, in, it is. <laughs> following what I said, if that's your problem, then the way you should lay your weed is yeah. keep it in the middle. Which is what I do. Okay. Start yeah. it out like yeah. a bonbon? Yeah. And then I... You started out I, pregnant. I tuck in the ends, and then I go right to the middle, and then sort of try to squeeze a little bit as I go, and even it out a little bit. But I don't know. We just go... I mean, the other way to do it would be, get, exactly. be to put a whole bunch of extra at the ends. So oh, even okay. if some of it falls out, you'll still be good. Well, yeah, that... Yeah, for sure. Trade. Which works and good I if I'm sitting up, here. I always you know. end up shoveling some into the end. For sure. Yeah. You want to get it back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get a nice little blunt end on it. I just love watching the old schoolers where they're just like, whoop, whoop, no problem, slick as shit, you know, yeah, they're done and fast. You could like, roll a cigarette well, you got one four done. hand while driving. And yeah, it's right? interesting because I've had people, oh, sorry, nostalgia on <laughs> Cortez people that are no longer with us, um, complain about how long it takes me to roll a joint. Oh, yeah, oh. me too. But then pick up the joint, yeah. look at it, hold it, drop it on the table, see it fucking bounce, and go, oh, okay. I yeah. can wait that long. And yeah. it smokes nicely. Yeah. 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 That's the other thing is people will roll them so tight. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you finally pass it to somebody else because you got a head rush. And you're like, I don't think I got <laughs> it. Trying to work it open a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, and there's, you know, there's the art to that too. Jeez, I didn't know I was going to be a weed thing. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> weed <a> sewer. <laughs> but honestly, it depends on the level of, of people's favorite word, moisture. Yeah. In the weed. Yeah. <laughs> Right? I love that word. I'm not worried about it. No, there's people I know that they detest yeah, the word moist. Yeah, some people will just like throw right up. But I love it because it creates the feeling in my mouth that it is meaning as exactly. the word. Yeah. So it's just like, it's exactly. That's I love that. Yeah. That's what I say. And I like it because it, it, has, it, it has M, which is a nice letter, and S and T together, which is nice. Like technically, it's a nice word. Yeah. Moist. You know? You're going to name your next I don't know. Next I don't, cat, that. <laughs> it's fascinating. I don't... I don't. I, I love that. Like M is a nice letter. <laughs> is it? Mm, you know, it, it denotes being hungry or something's good. Your mm, mom. Yum and mom. It's comforting. You know, it's a nice <coughs> soft tone. Right. You know, mis- compared to D. See, you know, yeah. you, is no, a matter, real D? no matter how soft you say D, <laughs> it still comes out D, yeah. right? Compared to M or even yeah. F. It, I guess if you if you go too soft on the D, it turns into the T. D. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. You, it, it ends up being duh or something. No, you but know? if you keep if you keep undoing the duh. tongue physically on that part mm. of the, in, it turns into T. Yeah. 
that's the only place for it to go. Yeah, because it's, <laughs> it rolls tangent. your tongue. Oh my god! There you go. Jeez, See, I've never really actually thought about it. Before. Learn something new. There you go. But that's I've also I've also done vocal training and oh, some singing training, See? and I have some acting background, and so uh, yeah, there's stuff about the whole apparatus. All oh, the I'm, mouth stuff. Slightly, <laughs> I like to call it. <laughs> Well, mouth, mouth and tongue and, like, being aware of where my tongue's going and pronunciation. Being able to articulate. Yeah. What, was the, what were we just watching? Oh, at the whatever show it was where he was doing the Pirates of Penzance. I am oh, a very oh. matter of a modern beta general. I can't Expedi- Exposition. Ex- oh, yeah, Expedition. <laughs> Expedition Unknown. Huh? With Josh Gates. I call him Joshy Poo. Joshy. That's my the okay. the dinner company because it's adventure, it's travel. He's yeah, archaeologist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. always going somewhere fun. And yeah, yeah and I love those jokes. kinds of shows. For yeah, it's just yeah, it's a feel good show. That and there's like Susan Kalman. Oh, that's a great one. What's hers called? Uh, she's got a few different shows. She did a cruising and then a Grand Day Out. Yeah. Or Secret Scotland. Yeah. She's a Scottish comedian okay. lady. Who's, she's like four foot nine, and she's just a little spitfire. And she woman does all and, of the things. Yeah. Like, she'll go and play rugby with people. Oh, yeah. wow. But yeah. she's nice. freaking hilarious while she's doing it. Yeah, she's it, so quick. And a tobo and, oh, I'm holding on to this. She's so sweet. So sweet. So Speaking of which. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> we, have, we have literal microphones, so I don't know yeah. what to say now. <laughs> yeah, did, so that pipe's name is Fuck. <laughs> because when we first got it, Jason got it like uh, right after the uh, their movie came out. We'd gone to like West Edmonton Mall and didn't have a bowl, and so he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna get one," and bought that one. And we're like, "It's like a Gandalf bowl. It's like Sherlock. Like you feel like you're deducing stuff when you smoke it. You feel all fancy." Well, I didn't want to use any of those names because they're standard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and so we're in the vehicle and. We sm- take the first sunlight. puff off of it, and <laughs> and when he exhaled, he said "fuck," and then it was just like that. It was the and so did pipe. everybody else. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like the next ten people after that, they're all like, it holds Fuck. Yeah, yeah. There. I was gonna say it's got a. I mean, it's got a deep bowl, but the the Most base the around it is, is also. <laughs> this is. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what I say. It's very fat. <laughs> it's chonky. It's, a good it's, word. Yeah, it's, it's chonky. chonky. It's more it's chonky than I'm used to, but I've gotten used to it. Yeah. And I have to, I, I can't, I can't usually, it's big enough and chonky enough that I can't usually clear it the first time. <laughs> right. So there's a little leftover often. Yeah. Um, but the only thing I could think of is its name is Kelpie. Because it reminds Ooh, me Kelpie. of a piece of kelp. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. With that's the blue, great. The yeah, ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I had the superstition for the longest time that if you don't name your pieces when they're new, yeah. then they'll break. Or they get well, let me show liberated. Kelpie. <laughs> oh, see, the reason why I have this pipe, for the most part, is the only one in the whole store that had the choke on the right-hand side. Yeah. It's a most of the they, what they call a left-handed left. pipe. Or a right-handed pipe, I can't remember. But yeah, he was just like, what, really? He's like, that's, yes, show me. I don't want to see yeah. any others. Show me all your pipes that are. He's like, so oh. So what, what, what hand do you hold Because I hold it like that. I use that usually finger. Usually light with your right hand. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, okay. Right yeah, yeah like there's, a very, there's a lot that I've had where it's this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You feel like you're yeah. playing the flute or a recorder. I, or I find with the other way like that, that I'm, I'm like, whoa, and I'll, it'll yeah, pop that's, out of my hand. But, but that's what this is for. Right, the little nub. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. so yeah. That's, no. that's the thing that lets me... It's yeah. got a nice balance. Pressure nub, we call it. Pressure nub! Pressure nub. Oh, that was a wicked penub and wicked penub in all the wrong places. Wicked penub. Just Eddie Murphy. Yeah, that's one of his yeah. characters from that's Saturday Night Live. Showing, showing some age there. Oh, it's oh okay. My God, I don't mind. I love Eddie Murphy. So filmmaker stuff. Speaking yeah. of movies and sets and stuff, you've oh. mentioned a couple times. What yeah, you, what have you, uh, what have you for a couple done? years in Vancouver before I moved here. So the job ended with the pandemic lockdown. Oh. Uh, but I was, I guess most people might know it as, a, I was an extra. I was working as an extra. Oh, nice. In the film and TV industry. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, like a the, legit like, extra? Yeah, I had yeah. an agent. Nice. Yeah, sweet. Um, the reason that happened is I have a longtime friend from when I was a teenager, and he got really into the film and TV industry, and was, didn't, wasn't just an extra, but had like... The, I forget what the terminology now is, 
years ago, like in the night in the in the eighties when I did a little bit of this before, um, it was called a silent on camera. Yep. Oh yeah. And it was the next pay group up yeah. from being an extra. Okay. Uh you're but, but it was substantial. Because an, an extra is sort of sea. like minimum wage, yeah. especially yeah. if you don't have an agent and you don't have enough to be in part of the union. Yeah. Uh, but then if you were uh, silent on camera, it was like more than twice as much money per well, hour. That's great. Yeah. It was a big step up. Uh, like, And there's been some, you know, amazing movies filmed in Vancouver. Oh my uh, God, and yeah, it's, for sure. It's, you know, got the nickname Hollywood North for a long time for, <laughs> yeah, for a reason. Yeah. Um, Tax credits. And yeah, so my, yeah. my friend my friend was was in that and like had like a oh, what was the Watchmen? Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. It was like a graphic novel and then they made the yeah. movie. Yeah. And and my friend is a comic uh what's the best one? Fanatic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe not the quite connoisseur. The right word. Yeah. Yeah, connoisseur enthusiast collector, enthusiast, <laughs> yep. um critique. It's it's uh. it's it's gone from him having an online comic book show, like a little a little oh, cool. review video show, working at a comic book store, modeling for comic book drawers. That's oh, wow. um, great. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Full immersion. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and he does you know, he does the board games and the role playing Oh yeah. Maybe not the role playing games. But where they the, have all the little teeny figurines of all the characters yeah. and yep. the big map and all the Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's great. Yeah, big sessions. Um, so he, when I got back to Vancouver, uh, after graduating from my PhD in 2018, uh, he hooked me up with this agency. Oh, okay. He sort of, cause he was so well liked in the industry that yeah. basically if I got a recommendation from him, they were like, yeah, all right, we'll take it. Come on in. Yeah, they know you're not going to be He said, then in the yes, ass. then, then yeah. we'll take it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. Um, that's nice to have back pocket. And, and was it like... He got you into the good stuff, like so you didn't have to be like. <laughs> I was like cocaine. Pulling, but, <laughs> no, no, I'm like no, pulling wasn't... off a, like hard to find jobs or you no, know that like, well, the agency stuff. the agency sort of took care of that. Oh, okay, because nice. they were they were only and the way that it's called what it's called now it's not called extra. Okay, because the whole terminology Background and performer. language and PC right, yeah. right. and you know. Yeah. The humans that are playing really these parts, you. you can't be called extra yeah. because that means that you're not necessary. You're not, yeah. you're not part of the process. However, yeah. you can't make a movie without you need them. Yeah. them. Yeah. But yeah. we're not called background. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's a background agency. All they do is background. So oh. all all and all of the projects that are filming in Vancouver, whether they're TV shows or movies, have have a staff to cast background. Specifically, oh, yeah, yeah, because you can't um, just be pulling people off the street; otherwise, they're going to be looking right in camera, and you know, blocking lighting. Yeah. You also have to know up, yeah. what the scene you know? is that they need the people yeah. for. Right. So, what they need to look like, or what they need to be able to look like, yeah. and yeah. all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, I never thought of that. It's a huge business yeah, what there. Your, yeah, what your whole range is. What yeah, and then like. and then the, one of the most amazing aspects of of the background industry. Uh, to me, anyways, is the costuming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, because I've, and, and being background, it really is you are living set. Yeah. Because you cool. are only part of the set. You just happen to be alive and moving. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, you can't hmm. look at the camera. Yeah. And you can't look at the A actors. I would have oh, yeah. trouble not laughing at their lines. Like, you get oh, working yeah. with, like, you wouldn't right, have trouble very something. quickly because you would get snapped at. But yeah. You would either figure it out or just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, your I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to not like being on SNL or something. Like now, it's kind of okay that they laugh along with or that they're you know trying not to still. But, well, and, and sometimes yeah. sometimes they're really good and they know. Yeah. So they will <laughs> run a few rehearsals. Uh, yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah. okay, you guys are going to react to this. React now. Do not react in ten minutes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Get it out yeah, of your system. Okay, sure. good. Yeah. So there are there are those moments. Yeah, yeah you've heard the like, line a few times. You don't get a full already. script or anything. No, you have you, no idea. No, yeah, no, you're just you, you get find some out direction. when you go to the audition. Yeah, they're like, um, can you be a background nurse? Can you be a dirty hippie? 
<laughs> well, no, it's more like they look at you. They already would have decided to see if with you your fit. agency, right? You know, before even casting you into that. Yeah, I suppose you know. that's 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 true because we don't have we don't have auditions. Do you have to film a whole bunch of like or photograph a whole bunch of looks, and yes. then that's in your portfolio? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah, yes, yeah, there's cool. a there's a specific whole online place for background so they people can shop and for there's you like guys. a you, you set up your profile yeah mm-hmm. and sometimes what's required like i would get an email from my agent saying there's a call for this and this if you want in send a photo like this of yourself and like this of yourself and try to have these kinds of clothes on yeah. right so and email yeah. us those yeah. so you'd have and then to the go... agents would give us tips on how to set up our phones it's one of the reasons oh. i have such nice phone holders yes <laughs> Give us tips on how to do it ourselves because they don't Self-tape. want us going out and spending hundreds of dollars with a photographer. Like, yeah, that's yeah, it's not worth the money considering no. what you're making. Yeah, exactly. for sure. Yeah, yeah. and they it's just need to realistic. see it. Realistic. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, but I've oh. been. So what was the show? Oh, I've been. It was like it was most of two years, and I got quite a bit of work, which is sort of surprising because I'm six two. I'm basically six two <laughs> barefoot, and and often. <laughs> The preferred background member is somebody who blends into a crowd. Yeah, yeah. And there are not many crowds I blend into. Yeah. Um, But on the other hand, there's enough TV shows, especially in the last five years, where they want weird looking people. Because there's so many shows that take place in outer space that have aliens oh, that right. are weird races of future humans. Right, that, blah, 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 blah. right. right. I guess. That right. you're more so cool taller. And they can, and, I got yeah, to have yeah. so much fun. More flexibility. That's cool. um, yeah, that's why some of the outfits, like some of the costuming, and that's why I was able to get into prosthetics. Because uh, oftentimes nice. it's either you stand out like fucking crazy to be part of the crazy background, yeah. or you have to completely blend in. Blend, right. yeah. Right. Um, right. So do you and, have to have a certain amount of wardrobe of your own? Like, do you, do you go in there in your own wardrobe? Or? Yes, I and guess it depends. You're, they're all, you always have to go with your own wardrobe as a background. Right. Unless... On the rare, there are some occasions when it's sort of half and half. Like everybody's zombies. You bring here, your, you so bring your own, bring whatever you have. Yeah, and, and then the costuming department like. will have some. They can throw an accessory, but they on don't there want or to something. use their own if possible. Yeah, because it's just going to cost more money. Mm-hmm. Uh, that makes sense. But I lucked out in a couple mm-hmm. things where it was so specific that I actually had to go to fittings and they had to actually costume me and none of it was my own. Was it fun to do the fittings? Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. (laughs) Sometimes, though, the costumes ended up being horribly (laughs) uncomfortable to be in for freaking 12, 16 hours. Yeah, probably just that's any costume, right? Yeah, they they care more about what it looks like. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes, you know, the best was when you got to wear your own clothes. Yeah. Yeah, Because then if you had a 16, 17 hour shoot, you were comfortable. Yeah. Ideally. <laughs> Ideally. Ideally, one's own clothes are... I tend to... I mean, you Depends know, what age I was. <laughs> well, and there was there were a lot of women who, you know, that's how women are trained to sort of be. And yeah. even men, where a certain amount of beauty requires discomfort. Yeah, exactly. Um, and there's that there's that idea. Yeah. So even people Too wearing their own pants. clothes, they're like, oh, I brought the, you know... The stupid shoes. Well, and when you're new... At background, you're trying that's... to impress, right? Yeah, yeah. and the yeah. thing is, is that they want to not use their own stuff so much that if your shoes are flat but the right shape and color, often they'll let you buy. Yeah, oh. yeah, works. It's good enough. So yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. there's a whole strategy yeah. as a background performer. But I was in one. It was unbelievable. I think it was like a final episode of a season of a TV show. It was. Mm, it wasn't the 100, although I've been in some of those. Oh, nice. We watched some of those. Um, That's the one with the clear. There was, dome there was, there's, it? there's one where there were like different planets, and no. they, they, no, no humans were on Earth anymore, and they were different planets that they would, they would go to and colonize. Okay. Um, and it was, it was one of those, and it was a time when there was a, there was a sort of an exodus off of one planet, and I was one of. 650 background? Of course. Crazy, like, hey? They don't just CGI the crowd? No. Nope. That's nuts. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So how and do they so, feed all you guys and everything? How do they, where do they where put do you us for 17 hours? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So they had, they had this area. Chairs. Um, yeah, when they look for background locations for filming, they always have to choose one that has an opportunity to house the background nearby. Yeah. 
empty parking lot. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of them, of course, take place in commercial busy areas, which is also right. lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. shutting it all down. Um, Something they can block off the roads easy enough and, this, and this get a permit easy one, enough. This particular one, sometimes they don't block off the roads. This one, it was like oh. four blocks away, five blocks away, and there was a path we were supposed to take. Okay. And and we had to wait for the lights to change, and then like they were trying to keep us in the crosswalks, like we were like grade school children. Uh, it was phenomenal. Uh, 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 they didn't want you to get hit in your outfit. But there, was, there was a there was a tent. There's a tent company that often rents out the huge like um, like wedding outdoor buffet yeah. style tents that can house like 100 and 200 people. Yeah. Kelly's tents is the one in Vancouver. <laughs> They're and the that ones to day, go. Good old Kelly. We got we cleaned them out. Oh wow! The yeah, hey. there was basically two city blocks, <laughs> and like just all covered. Yeah, with tents, and the, I mean with space in between yeah. here and there for because they had all of the makeup, all of the costumes, oh, and then they had to have all right. of the place for all of us to hang out and when we're not on set. Assembly yeah, sure. line, you yeah. guys through there. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was Production. like you know there was there were three of those huge <laughs> tents full of people. Wow. Of background, and, and you can't have everybody logistics. just. And these are the tables. These, these, yeah. these long yeah, yeah. filled out lunch tables. Yeah. Wow. So there's like three corridors of those, and and six chairs per table. And, and yeah. do they give you any place to put your shit, or it's basically you you show up with no, what's you basically, on you, and you make sure your keys can go in your whatever, pocket. Whatever bags and stuff you have, if you choose to bring. Like that was the that was the bad snacks. part about doing background for me was some of my favorite pieces of clothing got stolen. Yeah. yeah. Because when the, when everybody's on set, yeah. this is supposed to be one person doing security. Yeah. But nobody's watching, watching them do security. Everyone's on right. hourly. It's kind right. of nobody's keeping them accountable. And, and two, not and two and, city blocks worth of tents. And the people that cover. there's a there's a population of people that do background work that are the kind of people that can't hold down regular jobs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's, some of them are just they're kind of shifty. Yeah. yeah there's some yeah. people that are yeah. snatching stuff. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, because I I'm I'm like it's my stuff. I have to keep it precious. You know, I'd want to know like, can I lock stuff up, or do I have to be able to like fit everything I'm gonna bring on me? Well, that's often what they won't allow because then you look like you're wearing more than one layer of 35 clothing. Thirty-five hobo. So like it has to you know, like like people people yeah. bring suitcases. People bring like roller suitcases full okay. of wardrobe Different of their stuff. own stuff. Yeah. Because the more a brick as a bottom, background, so the no more you it. put into it the more the production likes you. Yes. And the pro more the production, production likes value. you, the more they're going to place you somewhere where you might actually be on camera. You're yeah. valuable now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then they'll remember you, you know, possibly right. for the next shoot. Oh, yeah. Too. That's the person you know? that was organized yeah. and on time and had their outfit. And yeah. I mean, that's... And brought extra wasn't stuff. That's, that's rare. And, that's know. rare because in order for the people to remember you, it has to be a small call. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I have had, I had some really, oh, one of the best gigs I had was working on Siren. Oh, oh wow. yeah, I, I love, love that Siren. show. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I was one of the background. Like, I don't, I don't know how much you watched, but there was one scene. We watched every I think all of it. And I don't know even what season <laughs> it's in, but it's going to be a memorable scene. Yeah. So the main female character. Yeah. Woman, I, didn't, I don't like using the words male and female. But they're habitual. The gal. <laughs> but the the woman character, uh, uh, mermaid, I guess, siren. Uh, she was getting into a bathtub to change, and it was like maybe the first time she had changed after she had come out uh, of the yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. And her whole like like extended family of ancestors were around the bathtub, and there was yeah. tons of candles everywhere. Yeah. Do you remember this? Yep. I was one of those people standing around the bathtub. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Totally gonna go back. We'll have to rewatch yeah. it. Again. I don't know. Yeah. That, I don't know. They had some really cool looking people on there. Like, yeah, and had to was... be long and lean. And hello, hello. <laughs> I am long and lean. That's <laughs> so there was a group cool. of us. There was about maybe fourteen of us. And what was great was that it was like there's a lot of background calls where it's just a one one day gig. It's just yeah. a one time thing. Yeah, for the crowd time or we're But this or this was one of those times where within this season of the show <laughs> there was a lot of parts of episodes and sometimes whole episodes that were filmed at this one location that was like an extended family gathering oh, for okay. all of the sirens and the half sirens oh, and that whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I was part of a group of extras that were part of that family. That's so they would cool. it was like, you know, it would be like, you know, we're doing a four day shoot. 
So for four days, this is your call. This is where you're going to be. Um, oh, okay. And there was like 14 of us, and it was a cold. It was a cold season, and it was in the middle of nowhere, and a lot of them were night shoots. <laughs> right, they were, because so, they were sneaking around. So mm-hmm. instead of getting the base rate for background pay, oh, yeah, nice. because it was... Night pay? They for realized that we were having to deal with some extra shit. Yeah. Uh, we got extra money per hour. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And There's a lot of that in background, which is brilliant. Yeah. When I had certain costuming that was intense and certain prosthetics that were intense, yep. I got more money per hour. And that's something that your agent would negotiate for you. You didn't have to do that. Or... It's, uh, it's, it's usually something now, that are part stuff. of the rules that basically yeah. the agents... There's, there are little gray areas that do happen, and I've had yeah. some of those happen, but mostly the agents will say... If that's what they're doing, I'm not going to offer anybody up until you give more money because that's not enough for that. Mm-hmm. I love that's what they, so the agents yeah. protect you in, yeah. in, initially. And we'll also say, uh, this is what these roles require. If you're not up for any of this, do not submit. That's right. awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Rather yeah. than yeah. just like, here you go, you're willing, off you go. And yeah, no, they warn yeah. you. They warn you because they don't want trouble. If you're yeah. trouble on the set, then, then, they, then their agency is trouble with the industry. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So they're protecting their own ass by protecting you. Yeah. So yeah. on the siren one, when you guys were like remote, you guys, they drive you out there? Or do you have to find your own way out? Or is it like a bus uh, to take you transpo. to transpo. The... There's, there's, it, it happens in different ways. Depends on uh, the a lot of times you drive to a location. Okay. And they've sectioned off a bunch of parking lot for the extra cars, and then they shuttle you to location from the parking lot. Right. Okay. That was right. the that was the most common. That was this one. Yeah, because they don't want just like. Hey, but it's not often cars. as easy. <laughs> like what gets intense is when there's like, even thirty of you, and this happened. Uh, I was part of the, uh, the first season of C. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jason Momoa. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh I you uh, love C. That's I guess I have a biased I, opinion because there were <laughs> there were a bunch of us that worked our bloody friggin' asses oh, off. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, none of it was it ever it. on camera. Oh shit. They the production, Nobody got to see it. Jeez. Wow. Thank you. It took me a second. I'm far enough away I can't get a little punch. No, no, I can't. My arms are long. They're not that long. <laughs> oh, how frustrating. And so you don't know till it comes out, right? Like, or do they tell you? Do they say, hey, that's on the cutting room floor? Or... No, they don't no, tell yeah. you that stuff. You don't really know until it just, comes just... out. But see, there was uh-huh. enough people. It was a huge enough production, and there was a bunch of us that did it for so long. I ended up bailing. Some people really kept going. I was, it was amazing. Because I'm, I'm not a rough and tumble, thick, muscular kind of person, and that's what this required, right? Because you're... And this was one of the situations where I was, I was average to low height, Amongst the people that I was with. Oh, wow. Because I was one of the angry, warring tribes people. Oh, right. Yeah, hey. Right. They yeah, want you to be tall huge. and messy. I had my hair shaved off in chunks for this role. <laughs> and I was paid more. Oh, God. To and be patches? <laughs> they would, like, weave in bits of, like, nature into my hair and have extensions. And yeah, there was, it was so me up dynamic. It was, it was uh, the physical work that they put us through and the physical training. We had to go to Hell, training yeah. before yeah. we were filming. To learn how to walk like you'd never been able to see before yeah yeah, right yeah through fucking nature so movement training and it was actually this amazing thing where they trained us to use our peripheral vision okay and it got so the the training got so intense because it would be like a weekend like eight hours saturday eight hours sunday so sunday evening driving home i'm on the road and i'm driving and suddenly i'm realizing that i'm paying more attention to what's next to me than what's in front of me like oh "Oh, no this is not good right now yeah Shit, especially tired at the end of the day. Yeah. Were the other people probably having the same thing yeah. happen? Yeah. yeah, hey, you get so Dark. used to it. I guess we'd say the concept of the show C is that the world is now blind. Basically, like everybody's yeah. blind, and then except for some, except for a couple kids people, that, and then except that's for yeah, there's that's there's, baby, there's like twin prophet babies that babies. are born that yeah. can see, yeah, yeah. And because they can see, they become the prophets. Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody thinks of them as witches. Anybody that can see is like yeah. not, right. no, not witches. Pro- they're, they're, yeah, evil or well, whatever. Well, it's like it's like yeah. it's like the story of Jesus Christ. Either you want the person to be God, or you want to kill the person. Right? <laughs> it's one or the other, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Either way. 
Nobody's so, on the fence. So that's that's the problem with that's the that's the risk of being a prophet, right? Yeah. Hey, either they will hold both. you up or they will put you down. Yeah, they're like, just you be quiet now. <laughs> you could pull me. You know. No more words from you. Oh man. And yeah, it was it was it was fun, and just some of the people I got to be around. Yeah. So like, there was there was this one. Do... I was at this one, um, uh, well, one of the last ones in like the two weeks before the shutdown in March of 2020, uh, Sandra Bullock. <gasps> oh, nice. Uh, Is she as cool in person? Yes. Like, she seems like she'd be like, shoot from the hip, quick oh, to joke. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing yeah. person. And it was the one that came out, it came out, I think in 21 or 22, um, where she had just gotten out of jail. I don't know. If it's I've a movie it. where she gets out of jail and it was for a murder. And the murder was in self-defense, um, and left a daughter when she went into jail, okay. and the daughter was, like, with the sister. Anyways, so we were, I was part of a group of background, and we were, um, like, homeless, sketchy people that were around the, like, soup kitchen that, that okay. she would go to. That'd be um, so fun to dive into those roles. Yeah, yeah. And I actually got a, like, this is one of the time, one of the only times I got a fake cigarette. That's and so I was dressed sort of like neat. a... You know, down and out, yeah. kind of Vancouver, Lower East, Downtown East Side. A little sloppy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sloppy, shoveled. maybe drugged, you know, yep. homeless, and, and I had a fake cigarette. And I was I couldn't believe the instruction was to blow blow the smoke in Sandra's face as she walks by me. <laughs> <laughs> That's You're like, a... should I buy her a drink first? Or... <laughs> That's so great. It seems like very intimate. I wish she was cool, but she was like, no, it's coming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't actually have like a like a like a one on one yeah moment yeah even but, get to like lock eyes but the, the <laughs> but I witnessed a lot because we were filming it in the downtown Lower East Side oh yeah so like two blocks away there was a small tent village right so there yeah. were these actual people around us yeah yeah um, I mean they had they had closed off the the streets and when you're filming they close off the sidewalks and they tell people that you can't walk this way and stuff right um but some people at the end of the block realized that something was going on and there were a few women and they were walking a dog and some maybe another dog walker and they you know i don't know if they were homeless but they were definitely a little rough okay um and sandra noticed them noticing they had a mm. dog sandra had her dog with her she had this little like small sort of like poodle small poodle type Aww. thing but she was working so she had her bodyguard Right. And her bodyguard had to hold her dog. It was the greatest thing. It was just like this big buff guy with <laughs> this little teeny teddy bear. Oh my and the God, dog's I name was Teddy. <laughs> That's uh, great. Hold your teddy. <laughs> but Sandra like walked down the block, and talked to these women, like made the dog connection, yeah. and like was was like a really generous, human? lovely human. She was yeah. yeah yeah. And That's she so she cool. like asked some of the, the the extras that were lying on the street. In the sleeping bag, like, are you freezing? Are they taking care of you? Are you okay? Oh, wow. Like, she was checking. Wow, it was yeah, really yeah. nice. Hmm. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. that's crazy. God. That's awesome. Yeah, hey, that's neat. Nice. And to then hear. there was, um, I forget if it was a movie or a TV show. Now I'm forgetting, but I got to be on a like a sidewalk person uh, and have Stanley Tucci like. Oh, nice. Right there. Nice. Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. I love Stanley that's Tucci. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, that would have been hard to not just be like. <laughs> yeah, Every time one of the go by. one of the hardest ones for me was Arrow. I did a lot. I was, yeah. I was, oh, yeah. I was, I was yeah, yeah, background on, on yeah, part of the first season, I think. Yeah, or I think. Did we watch the I, Arrow I was on while I was working on my PhD. Oh, okay, and it ended up the PA, doing my PhD was really difficult for me. It was it was some some trauma, like full on panic attacks. I needed medication to help. Oh, brutal. Uh, it was really intense, and I found that one of the things that really helped me take a break from that was like superhero TV shows that solved something in an, in an episode. Oh, right, yeah. There was you get a little bit of closure of, in there. Yeah, yeah, but then there was the overall episode arc, which, of course, kept you coming back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Arrow, I just got into it hmm. right away yeah, from yeah. the yeah. beginning. It was, it was a bit of an addiction for a while. Nice. Uh, uh, and then to find myself being background to the point of I was one of the inmates in one of the prisons where he was a prisoner. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Holy <laughs> shit. Sand to, that's great. Crazy. Uh, and I have here. I have photos that like I can send you a couple photos. Yeah, we can. Yeah, awesome. we can clip them in. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah. 
but it was this one this one it was like a three or four day shoot in this prison set with a bunch of us and a bunch of the main characters including what's his name Stephen ml something like that I don't know. the guy that played arrow anyways i okay. was so tired and that's another thing because the calls will be like 5 a.m oh shit so you have to be somewhere that's like half an hour away at 5 a.m and you have to be ready to go um and alert <laughs> yep. Stephen uh, ml okay yeah uh and I, I was sort of zoning out, and I was having a little bit of, like, I had to keep reminding myself, like, this is a dude. This is not right. a hero. This is yeah. just the guy that, this is just the character. <laughs> right. Like, True. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, Save and, the day, arrow. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I am not watching TV. I am in the shoot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, That's like, look, reaching for the remote. There might have been some marijuana involved <laughs> at some point that day as well. Um... <laughs> But this one point, we're in a break, we're in between shoots, but we're all on set. And I'm, like, just gazing off into the distance. I'm, like, zoning out, not looking at anything. And he happens to sit down at a table in, that's in, in the line, line of my gaze. <laughs> oh, I did not move because I did not look at him. I kept looking at nothing. Yeah. But, like, 45 seconds later, he gets up, comes around, and is in my face. Like, what? Hello? I'm like, Jesus, fuck. Hey, what's up? Oh. Yeah. And and he had a... This was earlier, a little bit earlier on, and he had a bit of a... I guess it wasn't that early. But but sometimes there was a bit of a... He was a bit a bit difficult on, on, on set, but... Oh. Just like, what are you staring at, Mitch? Yeah, yeah. Basically. Uh, crazy. Basically. Because we get, we get directed not to look at the actors. Yeah, right. Okay. And right. not to look at the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Even if the actors aren't working, like aren't being filmed, right. consider them working. Yeah. So leave them alone. Yeah, for and sure. never engage to, yeah. unless they engage first. They're still in the zone, possibly, or whatever. Yeah. You and I, 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 even though I was gazing that at nothing, direction. The, the good thing for me to do would have been to look away if, if I noticed him if, sit there. But you and didn't. I, no, I noticed yeah. him sit yeah. there. I just decided to continue yeah. doing what I was doing. You yeah. sat in your line of fire. You know, I'm dissociating. <laughs> no, but but the thing is, is it's n in the hierarchy on set. It's not his fault. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. should have looked away. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Those weird little crazy, nuances, hey? Yeah. hey, that I never would have thought about. Like, he wasn't being difficult. He actually no. had well, a bit of a right to sort of get in my face. Yeah. And, and I get it a little bit. You and know, like, plus, you know, his face was that much closer to my face. Why am I going to complain? <laughs> exactly. You, you know, just, like, not necessarily <laughs> arrow. Did he just blink lots? Yeah. Uh, little hearts are boom. Yeah, boom, no, boom, I, aren't boom, you going to spank me? <laughs> No, Not exactly my again. style. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I'm trying to think of like an arrow in your innuendo. Oh. You just went right to that, but yeah. all right, you know. No. Discipline. Let's bring it back around. Well, you eyes. know, keep it right. Right. Oh, there you go. Right here. All right. right. There you go. Right here. That's that's the bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> Aim your arrow oh right my here. God. So, did you get to meet Jason Momoa? Not meet. No, but no. I like you, know, you saw saw him. waft Be from across the room or I something. Was, <laughs> I was not in his tribe. Right. So right. most of the time we were filming, he wasn't anywhere around. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. But we actually filmed on Vancouver Island. That's what I heard. Yeah. 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 So people were talking about that it was being filmed, like, north? In Strathcona. Oh. In Strathcona Regional Park. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lots now. Over there where they do Sonic and... Yeah, yeah. yeah every season of Sea and... No, mm. not every season. Oh, I thought... Oh, no, no, they're in China no. for part oh. of it, Jason. Oh. Just joking. No, after... Mo I mean, I guess I don't know if this is true. So don't quote me on this. This is not industry <laughs> information at all. <laughs> we'll put a little disclaimer. But what I think is that the production pissed off the film and TV industry in Vancouver so much that they ended up having to go out east to film. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they were able to find places because of lakes and all that stuff that it's, oh, yeah. it's comparable. Yeah, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah. And probably super cheap to work out there. <laughs> well, they did change, I guess, location even on the show. Yeah, they moved, way less and They moved the camp and everything, I guess. So, yeah, it makes sense. It's easier hmm, for crazy. the blind people on the flat prairie. I suppose, yeah. Less trees and rocks and mountains and stuff. <laughs> yeah, there was this whole thing that we were... That we, I, I was I was trained with in the, the strategy of how do you... When you can't see, how do you learn how to traverse rough terrain? And there was this one terrain that we had to do, and we were being filmed by drone cameras. It was like, my favorite so thing about background DJing? was the behind-the-scenes shit. Oh, oh right, imagine. yeah. Because I've done production managing, oh. I've done backstage work, 
So this was that in the film and TV you know how industry, the sausage is being and, made. and being able to like see them set up the drone cameras and also like cameras on huge cranes and arms yeah. and moving vehicle that. cameras and like all this stuff and being able to it was so cool and yeah. this the special effects. <laughs> I'm probably Gosh. going on a tangent. Um, oh, I love it. I... But I was on Supernatural, which was um, oh crazy. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't actually a fan of the show. I have, I think, I watched the first couple seasons. My uh, roommate in Alberta was. Yeah, we, we watched it. I yeah, think, we, we pretty we much watched all of them. But so, do you have? Do you, uh, which one? Sam Dean? What? Do, uh, do, do you have a? Because oh. there, there was this whole thing where everyone either likes one or the other. I I think I'm not really into either of them, but <laughs> I like the the witch chick and Castiel's my favorite. I yeah, had an Castiel. angelfish named Castiel. Yeah, okay. yeah. I like the old guy. I can't remember his name, but he just always said balls, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, balls. Because yeah. that's what I used to always say, like even before Supernatural. Yeah. Like, and like, then it came like, out, oh, and he's like, "They stole my like, word." What the, like, that's my thing. He stole my thing. Now, now there was a. What was the crossover? Well, they, they there's the a there is a Winchester show now, but it's like a prequel. No, maybe know, it wasn't. I don't know maybe, if it did guess, anything. No, but, it was a different thing. It wasn't Supernatural. It was something else. There was this other. God, I forgot all the film and TV industry stories. Yeah, there's so many CW shows that came out around then that sort of the same. Um, so yeah, I was an extra in a demon monster cage fight scene <laughs> in a Supernatural episode. I think I remember that episode. Uh, oh and my the, god, I love it. And so the cage fight was between a, a, a wraith <clears throat> and a werewolf. Okay. Uh, and the wraith, it was a woman wraith. And a, and a man werewolf. I think the werewolf character maybe had been part of the episode more than the wraith, or, or had some speaking. I'm, I, I forget, okay, but yeah. had a, had a familiar face. Um, and I got wonderful prosthetics. I got uh, uh, a denture, an upper denture of fangs, uh, awesome. and this nose and upper lip thing that was supposed to be like a like a like a bat, yeah, or like oh, a, okay. like, a, like a vampire bat kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I kind of wish they did done ears, but they didn't do ears because a Not lot of us. Fighting. No, we were the we were the, the crowd audience. doing the, oh, we were the audience. Rah, rah. We weren't fighting, uh, so a lot of us were like hybrid. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Um, right, half demon, half human, half. And the dentures bat. I could take out, so I could like eat. Oh, nice, yeah. That's oh, that I mean. would have been yeah. helpful. Yeah, because could you imagine just like pick the wrong thing? Yeah. Shouldn't have had spinach. Just. Well, and you only, you can only eat what they feed you, right? Like there's, oh, there's the, that's the right. other aspect of another huge aspect of background is food. Yeah. And so what what productions what crafty hi, what productions have the best yeah, cooks? That, exactly. Oh. And what what what? Oh my god! It wasn't oh, just that pizza was, that was the best thing about Siren. Is Siren had the best set cooks. Yeah. Hey. Really? It's, oh, so good. <laughs> so Actual good. food. Yeah. I used to hear stories about that where like people would be like, "Well, who's who's the production company?" And they're like, "Oh, it's so and so." And they're like. Eh, I'm good. And then the other yeah, thing would yeah, be like, yeah. there's a production of it. Oh, it's so-and-so. Okay, let's do yeah, it. And it's yeah. all for food. food. And yeah. hopefully all I have food. to be there for 18 hours. Yeah, well, you've got to be 18 hours on this set or this set. You're getting paid the same amount. Yeah. Do I go on this one where they treat you like shit and there's no air conditioning or anything? Or do I go on this one where it's pretty sweet and they have food and everything else? Yeah. Not, yeah. There's, pretty a, easy there's, a whole, there's a ginormous food strategy with the background. <laughs> yeah, for the sure. World. Yeah, you uh, don't want everybody the, to have the shits either. <laughs> well, what I mean, what I mean is a strategy, a strategy for background people who are background to get to get food. Yeah. Well, it's a legit right? way to feed yourself. It's a legit so you way to feed to yourself, yeah. and at the end of the day, because of the health rules, yep. none of the food that's left over can be saved. Yeah. The cooks and the kitchens and the, the food trucks and everything have to chuck it all away. Oh, so there's so a whole, always a whole crew of on. background that come to work with a suitcase full of empty Tupperware, <laughs> and at the end of the day, they fill their shit. Yeah. Brilliant, and yeah. then there's no food waste. Exactly, oh, and then these people who are broke, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and, and they Disney. purposely take like that's night jobs so and stuff cool. too to be able to do that. I've I heard lots of stories about that where that's legit. That's how people fed themselves for three days after. Yeah, wow. by doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I love that. Yeah. 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 So that's like, and and a lot of these people, they they like, I ended up becoming uh, um, half union. There's like stages. Yeah. And okay. that depends on your hours and how much you log within a certain amount of time. Right. Uh, and that's useful for so many reasons. First of all, your hourly wage goes up. Okay. Second of all, if you don't get fed by a certain amount of time after you call, you start getting 50 bucks an hour on top of your wage. Oh. 
Yeah. You know, they, yeah. Could, they, they take care of us. Yeah. And they let the, they let the production company know if you don't take care of these people, it's, it's coming out of your pocket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and the starting wage and yeah, it's so like the starting union wage was over 30 bucks and the starting non-union wage is under 18 bucks. So it's a, it's a gap. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's, um, double nearly. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then, and then sometimes if you're non-union, but they want you for a special gig, yep. the way that they will up your grade is pretend you're union for a day. Okay. Right. Which is great, because then you get the meal penalty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Even though you're only pretend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then any overtime cool. or anything, too, which, I mean, you get that anyway. Yeah. Well, but, with see. your movie, wasn't um, one, of, one of the actors that was in it, I think he was one of the only guys that like, yeah. had experience. Tisdale. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He went in under a pseudoname yeah. so that he could do it. Yeah. Because he'd become... The union, he, had, yeah. he, he talked to his union rep. And asked oh, if they, yeah. if they, they would like, like let him out allowed. to be able to do it because it was a friend thing. It wasn't. Right. Uh, and, yeah. it, it was. He was getting paid as well, and that was basically what it came came down to. Yeah. So, right. Right. So they were they were decent and said sort of yes, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. exactly. Yeah, and it was a whole thing where, it, I, yeah, he's out of the union now, so it's totally yeah. fine to mm -hmm. talk about. But yeah, and it was a. Th we I tried to come up with lots of different ways. But... I said, well, we can pay you in different ways, like yeah. other than cash, and it was like. Well, how? Grass and or ass. Every, exact, every other way was still sort of shady, you know. And I'm like, That's, that you was know? the cool thing for the the people that were that were doing the background work that didn't have a lot of experience, were in a bit of a critical point in their life. Yeah, weren't unions. It was okay to get the lower wage because you could go home with three days of food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, sure. that's payment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're Especially. saving the food, you know, the cooks always feel, the kitchen people always feel better if people take yeah. the food, of oh, course. of course. Yeah, rather yeah. than, they, they don't want to throw out what you've made. No, not when there's yeah. people hungry. Yeah. Yeah, especially people on set that are hungry. Or they well, have, exactly. maybe they have family at home that could use a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've just been working for... And for so life. it's not just pizza? People eat other <laughs> things other than pizza on set? Okay. Just yeah. checking. That's just our oh, sets. Yeah. No, just just all the freebie shit that I've done. Oh, no, there's no. Like, it's just I mean, no. I've, been, I've been on sets where I can go and order breakfast. Yeah. Oh, like, there's nice. a breakfast food truck that they order for the first five hours of the of the call because that's breakfast time. Yeah. And there's five options. Mm, that's beautiful. And it gets made in front of you, yeah. and then you get it, and you go, and mm. you don't really have, you have to sort of vacuum it in because there's never quite enough time for anything. No. But, <laughs> no. Well, that's. My, the, the the pace. So background is like for wait, hours and wait, hours and hours wait. you're doing nothing. It's and like then the suddenly out of nowhere you have to be like, oh, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. go. You're there, you're ready. You, like you block a scene, you practice a scene, and then you film it from this angle, from that angle, from the whole angle, from this character's perspective. From so you right. do, and if if you are off by more than six inches as a background, they have to restart the whole thing. Holy fuck. So you have you have to be Continuity. on and pay attention to the, like your marks. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. he says this, I need to be over there. When they're doing that, I need to be over there. Yeah, it's, yeah there's lots. Yeah, sure. there's lots of pressure. Yeah. Otherwise, the people will like, no, we don't like that person. We're not hiring that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need you to be there and sit pretty. Sit pretty. Here's your <laughs> sit pretty. Sit for your but, treat. And I, I was one treat. of the people because I've always been. Sort of, if I'm going to do anything, I might as well do my best at it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I want to well, if I can get it. What kind of philosophy is that? <laughs> People pleaser. <laughs> no, not really. No. That's not what it is for me. Just want to do a great job. I, it's, I don't feel good personally when I half-ass things. Yeah. yeah. I have trouble phoning it in. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's ass. just something for just myself. Like... Like somebody in the horses somebody solved. legitimately yeah, yeah, no, asked me deluxe. because they had no idea one time why are you a good person? That's a good question. Like, Why don't we all three of us just go quiet <laughs> like, on that? Eh? Did they want a fucking list? I just heard did a whole audio. No, no, they wanted to know what you what are, considered. Why, no, no, oh. not not huh? not what are the conditions of being a good person? Okay, but why do I bother? Oh. Yeah, that was the oh, question. Oh, okay, People right, okay. That? This one person yeah, was genuinely like, huh. because this person was brought up right. in an atmosphere well, of... You had to get ahead or get... You, you, you have to you do can. for yourself everything, and everyone else is a potential problem. Yeah, right. right. Swim with the sharks. Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Grew up, grow, you know? Yeah. 
mid like Americans, yeah. very, you know. very yeah. sort of yeah. traditional, sort of low, slightly work like working class yeah. Yeah. mentality. Uh, yeah. um, and he was he was stunned sort of by my answer. I said because it it feels good. It does. Yeah, hey, yeah. It does. That's, like, funny to think like, about that that's like integrity is important for me like yeah. being able to stand with myself and behind myself and for myself yeah and if i'm not yeah. if i'm half assing or not being decent i can't do that well it's, you're sitting there with your own thoughts at the end of the day going what the fuck is that about <laughs> it's hard to be Where a disciple that? like that's that's yeah. that's not being a disciple is if i fall off Right. What I want to practice. Yeah. And I want to practice it because it feels good. Not because I'm trying to prove myself. No, because I just need, to, I need, to, I just my need life. a little bit of love, mommy and daddy. Life is hard. <laughs> if I yeah. can make it better, you know, all for it. I, I, I wonder sometimes if people like that. But, yeah, that's a they, practice. They don't have any yeah. of their own, I think, introspective looks inside themselves. They it's never very sit and outside themselves. Yes, yes. stimulus. Well, yes. Very, okay. no inner monologue. Person. Which, you know, I just learned how long ago that not everybody has no. an inner monologue. Some people actually have an inner slideshow. <laughs> well, so I think cool. I have all of the above. But right. I just yeah. like, so I, I'm just oh. curious, you know. Would you rather? <laughs> oh, I don't know, would you rather? No, I don't mean to. But that's interesting. No, no, she's saying, yeah. would you rather an inner monologue yeah. or an inner slideshow, I think. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah. the ignorance is bliss kind of thing, too, right? Well, would you rather be... Yeah, or I think, but it's 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 yeah, it's, yeah I suppose because the psychologically I don't know I guess word person I guess yeah but there's a an inner locus yeah and then the external locus locus is like your focus and your attention yeah and and you know people can be difficult in life if this is always where they're pointing right. for cause and blame and yeah, reason yeah. And, yeah exactly right? yeah. that's yeah. you know sometimes it's got to be this yeah. can't yeah. always be that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but there are people yeah. that that's sort of yeah shift it it's somebody else's thing and maybe because that's all that they can see because that's all they've ever looked at they've never looked in yeah they've there's never been of, shown that there's a benefit or that you looking can. anywhere else yeah. or that you can or that it's selfish to look in it's like no everybody else wants you to fucking look in once in a while too. <laughs> <laughs> again that's my problem is i, I I do both. You're, I look in and blame outside too. Yeah, you're you know? an overachiever like, ah, now. Good thinking about thinking. So oh, would, yeah. Would what was that one line of poetry I wrote? My neck is so long. I was something like, I can think myself out of anything or something like that. Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, That's it was great. a line of poetry that I wrote sort of reflecting oh, on myself. Wrote, oh, okay. Because oh. I'm, an, I'm an overthinker. Right, yeah. Yeah, Jason um, is too. Um, that, and I, I would, you know... I spent part of my life, like, you know, emotions are hard and complicated and rough and confusing and ridiculous. So I sort of was like, well, I should be able to think myself out of anything. Out of anything. Right. And I use this because I have a long neck. So I... Oh, that's great. Like, if I can get my head as far, far enough away from my get, body, then I can just think. Get yeah. closer to the ideas. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that are out there. You know? A little, a little platonic, yeah. platonic imagery there. <laughs> I want longer arms so I can just pluck them out. <laughs> I want my head to be up with all the perfect ideas. <laughs> Float over all the other mucky stuff. Well, that's my thing, too, is I think if I can just think about it clear enough or long enough, I will be able to come out with the perfect solution. Not necessarily perfect, but ultimate solution. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it works. Sometimes he it has doesn't. lots of, like, arguments that he would have had with somebody, or, like, if he has, like, an upcoming thing that he's, like, concerned about. Yeah, I'll have inner... He'll have, like, 87 conversations, conversations before the actual conversation you know? yeah, happens, yeah. even if it's only meant to be, like, two two lines of, I'm yeah. going to say, dialogue, and, and I've it, been talking about And shows. it's funny, because it it does also manifest because I won't direct the conversation in that way. No. And sometimes I've even done experiments where I but because you specifically such a won't clear talk path. about that, but somehow beep, 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 these three people were talking about it over here. And then that conversation comes around oh, to me. I'm oh. just like, what the f how? Sorry, I have a full yeah. back to an earlier part of the <laughs> yeah. episode because I wanted to say about the meaning, <clears throat> how words, the meaning of words change. Yes. Oh, yeah. And the usage. And the thing that I immediately thought of, which connects to what you just said, is when they go back to like like nature shows and the intelligence of animals and tool use or the evolution of human <laughs> beings and tool use yeah. and the discoveries that they've made where say monkeys on different islands that have had no physical contact with each other all learn how to use the same yeah. tool within the same I think language yeah. use happens in the same way across oh, populations that sure. speak the same language. Yeah. 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 So so it's not like I I have a friend who'd be like who was the first person who said this and meant this? Yeah. I mean, that's impossible to find out. It happens 
in between people across thousands. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah, yes. I think the same thing with like so inventions. In Any invention I used to come up with back in the day, I'd be really pissed off. In within a year, I'd see it out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, or ten years, and then or whatever. simply because you had put time into thinking about that part of that conversation, somebody in the room picked up that signal and woo woo for sure the thought popped yeah. into their head yeah. right yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, i just yeah. had to realize over yeah. the years that most likely a thousand other people or more thought that same thing not <laughs> that, necessarily the, the same idea time is but coming to fruition whether it's through you for sure or through someone exactly. else it, it's like it's already yeah. there yeah because all time doesn't exist Ooh, now we, there we go. All of it always exists. There we go. Yeah, exactly, right? right? It's, it's all here. Oh, right? if time doesn't exist, then everything happens. Okay. Yeah, it's Understood all happening that. at the same time, but we just, yeah, all right. time. So, yeah. your invention has already been, been invented. Right. Completed somewhere. But if, yeah, it hasn't been able to, because you haven't had the time to actually piece it together and well, create and maybe, it. Yeah. And all, but it's all, still some, it's And all still of the other people somewhere. haven't had the time to put it together and yeah. make it. But all of the thought elements are happening in that sort of other yeah. level of unconscious or what have you. So yeah, someone hey. might have not had to do all of the like ground level uh, conjuring of the idea. It'll just come to them in a moment when they're like open oh, that's to cool. receive meditation kind that's of cool. wise. I cooked and it. Then, they yeah. can and then it, utilize and then it, they eat can it. actually come together because they don't have any resistance. Whereas when you're creating something, like not you per se, but like a lot of us, when you're coming up with something, there's mm -hmm. there's negativity. There's a little bit of resistance because like well, yeah, for, it's a it's yeah. a it's a you're just what it's great because what you're trying to describe is the difference between putting effort into the creation of something and f finding the thing there yeah being open like there's a way for, that i write yeah. poetry there's a way that i prefer to write poetry i write poetry yeah um, i've called myself a poet sometimes i still do <laughs> but I, I i it's it's on and off these days um but there's a way there's so many different ways of writing and and the way i prefer to write poetry is to think of myself as a listener mm. um rather than a creator that that oftentimes it feels like if I'm in tune, it feels like there's a voice in my head that stands up and starts talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I don't start recording it, I miss out on the genius of whatever that is. Yeah. Exactly. And so for years, my poetic practice has been, how do I get myself with effort into that zone where that happens? Yeah. yeah. Where you can yeah, reach that. And that is a discipline. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Because if you, you just have to learn like, your own it's, way, it's like, it's not just, you can't just wait for it. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. I find that it's the act of writing itself that opens me up. Gets you into it. Yeah. That there's a way that I think when yeah. I'm in the act of writing that I don't do any other and time. And focus, yeah. because you're focusing... Because reading and... is a part of writing. Yeah. One cannot re write without reading. Yes. Because if you don't know what you're writing, you can't write if you don't know what it is saying. So there's that, I call it writing thinking. Because it doesn't happen in any other place or time or mode of my life. Even if I'm just yeah. if I'm reading a book, it doesn't happen. I have to be in the act of writing. My mind changes. Yeah, how yeah. it functions, the nerve endings that awaken, something shifts. Yeah. And then I start listening instead of speaking. Mm. But my I'm like recording. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. it's I, I literally visualize a funnel above me, and okay. whatever you want to call it, a kashic record or just there's lots of different theories about every idea is out there in another universe. You just have to pluck it, you know, and utilize it and everything. So that was, I literally, you know, visualize a funnel above me for all those to be able to go to have it right down into the top of my head. In there. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah. a, there's a poet that was friends with Robin Blazer and, uh, very close and colleagues and, uh, they, they, Robin Blazer sort of wrote like this and, and they called it dictation. Mm. Oh yeah. Po poetry by dictation. Uh, but Jack Spicer was this poet, and he, unfortunately, the way he found, he had this whole philosophy about it in poetic practice, where he was a, he was like, he was um, like a, like a, like an old-fashioned radio. Okay. Oh, okay. And so he had, he had to, he had to tune it. Yeah. He had to tune it. Fine. And unfortunately, the thing that he gravitated to that always tuned him properly was alcohol, which really shortened his life. <laughs> oh, brutal. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Listen to the ads too many times. The whiskey ads on the old radio too many times. I'll do it. Sucked them in. Well, 
I think. I suppose. I, I could go forever, but I know, I know. Yeah, there's so know. much we so didn't lovely. touch on. But maybe, right. maybe, maybe yeah. we can. Yeah, we'll do another have, one. Have another one at down some the road. Point. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to come yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's so awesome. Fun. I can't believe we actually got to do it because it's been like a long time in the company. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just been in the ether yeah. for a while. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then it was winter. We we're like, yeah. Yeah, Gross. Well, and winter. I think all of all three of us are sort of shut-ins. Yeah, a little bit. So there's that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Ah. yeah, we have nice cats. <laughs> yes. Hence why you're here in our domicile. Yeah. You know, we don't have to go out in public or anything, and that's scary. Yeah. As much as we love other humans. Oh, for sure. I, I like people. You know. But. Just not too many all at once. <laughs> oh, there's a, a great. George... I, I like people on my own terms. Well, one of that. one of there's a great George Carlin thing. It's one of the funniest things because he's hilarious. He's one of my favorites. But uh, he's you know he's much older at this point, and he says, you know, you might be surprised to hear me say this, considering some of the things I've said over the years. But I like people. <laughs> and the crowd cracks up like, "Excuse me, sir, hey, you what? That's great." But then he carries on to say, "You know, for like a second and a half." Yeah. And then, time. yeah, small doses. <laughs> Very yeah. small doses. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! He's a freaking legend. <sighs> yeah. Well. Okay. Thanks okay. very much. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yeah, so this so has much. Been so fun. much. We didn't even get to talk about so much of the we ancient didn't do a drug would you rather? thing and a would you rather. Oh, and we'll shit. we'll do another one. We'll do another one. Can we do really quick? We're gonna do a would you rather. Look at this. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, Super quick. What do you guys? Three, two, one. Pick one. Uh, Greatest Johnny Waffles drives <laughs> by on his bike again. His scooter. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or in a broken elevator? Oh. A uh, ski lift for me because I'm super claustrophobic, even though I've seen the movie Alone, but not the movie Frozen, Frozen but not like the Disney not Frozen. The Disney Frozen. It's the Frozen where people get stuck on a chairlift, spoiler alert, and, <laughs> and wolves, wolves come and a girl pees her pants. And it was I actually a very good movie. All die. Surprisingly. Was it? We saw it at a film festival. It so. was actually pretty good. It was done it, well enough because the first yeah, thing you think is like, it's, it's out there. Uh, they're stuck in a chairlift. It. How, I mean, other than that yeah. much, how, how bad can it be? But yeah. yeah, they do a good job with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> ski lift or broken elevator? <laughs> is it summertime? Well, is there not, air not if you're in a ski lift. Is the power out? Are there other people? <laughs> Stipulation in there with gene yeah. coming in. Well, play yeah, there's so again. many different ways. Right? Like, there's so many different ways an elevator could be broken or stop working. Right. Let's say, like, stuck, you know? Yeah. But then I've also, I've also been, like, I've been on chairlifts when it's not, it's a ski lift in the season. But in the off season, it's a, a lift up to a viewing. Yeah. Point. Right. So you yeah. could be on the chairlift when it's warm still. And still. Yeah. 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 Do, yeah. Does she have Kelpie with her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in an elevator that could be well, good or bad. Yeah. Well, let's say you're going up to a yeah. viewpoint. So yes, you'll yeah, have right. your weed and Kelpie you with you. Have Kelpie. Yeah. If, you're, if you're going up in altitude, if you're planning you ahead, weed because it's you can get a waste more stone. <laughs> yeah, in helps, altitude. helps enliven the lungs. <laughs> when I lived in Boulder, no, that's exactly because Boulder is right at the Flatirons. We're right at the the foothills of the of the. Rocky right, it's the, the Continental or, Divide. Well, okay. The Rocky Mountains yeah. as well as the Continental Divide. Because it's amazing. You can drive up. I once was in a car going to a friend's place. We increased altitude so much driving to their place, I passed out in the back seat from lack of oxygen. Oh, crazy. Holy oh, 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 fuck. That yeah, would have been crazy. scary and their for you bodies had and acclimatized. They, No, they acclimatized. They warned they me fine. that this might happen. Oh, yeah, okay. They yeah, knew. Yeah. They weren't just like, la, 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 drops. Oh, I knew they were up there, but I didn't think it was that Let's make sure high. someone passes out. No, no, they weren't. You can drive! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in the back seat. Not, not, not. They were friends. You know, they wanted yeah. to stay alive. Okay, okay, good thing. Is it, where's this room? <laughs> but yeah, no, we used to go hiking. We used to specifically hike to get up in altitude and then find a cave and smoke a joint. Crazy. And get extra high and then have to wait a long time before you can come back down. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Sketchy as fuck. I'd always heard about that and always thought, ah, can't make that big of a difference or whatever. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, hey. Okay. Well, well especially for people that are enough? chronics because the, the tolerance right. builds up. Right, of course. So this is, this is a way to get like, oh, woo. Okay. Jason's up on the roof the next yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need a little, <laughs> a little ladder on the roof. 12 feet doesn't cut it. Damn it. It's not going to take the oxygen level down. Hot air balloon. 
going up the trees. I don't want to have to exercise climber. first. But you need yeah. to bring someone else in the balloon with you to come right. back down. Right, right, okay. Because you don't want to be adjusting right. the flames in the hot air balloon if you're stoned. Yeah. You're just like, look, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> gone yet? We're going to go. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's going oh, to the we, we still haven't stopped. Broken ski lift, broken elevator. Oh, we never did answer. I think it was ski lift. No, and she never did answer. Elevator. I was just. We I got into stipulation. Extrapolating. Yeah. yeah. Tangent road there. You know. It's a hard one, but I might. I'm, I think. I'm think. I'm going to say elevator. Oh really? You're not claustrophobic okay. at all. Not particularly. Okay, you're lucky. The other thing is that. I'm envisioning, and this is just my imagination, because yeah, there's yeah. many scenarios that it would be awful in. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm envisioning a building that is functional and has people yeah. in it, so fairly quickly someone's, someone's going to figure out that the elevator's it. not moving. Yeah. Right. It's not a zombie And not everyone lives. is then going to leave the building and abandon the elevator. Like You would hope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in, my, in, my, yeah. in my fantasy, that's... Yeah, you're yeah. not in an abandoned elevator no. building. I'm not, you wouldn't you know, do that I, anyways, probably. No, if I go into an abandoned, <laughs> broken down stairs. building, I'm not going to ride the <laughs> elevator. Yeah, Ding! Stairs. First thing you do is hit that's, the elevator. Yeah. I mean, unless I'm back running a horror flick. Then well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm getting paid for yeah, it, you know, okay. depends on the food. If I'm getting paid for it, both of them. Yeah. I'll depends get stuck how in the food is, yeah. <laughs> Either one. Because so if it's a chairlift, it'd probably be more per hour. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Outside, you know, yeah, oh. that element pay. Right? Can I see crafty from there? <laughs> oh, I've done, I've done summer shoots up Grouse Mountain. Oh wow! Oh yeah, in that April. Hot. Where, yeah, hey. No. Oh no. No, because you're up in Opposite. the mountain, oh. so and it's April, and so it's freezing, and you're wearing a summer dress. Oh shit. Just so right off, the, right yeah, exactly. outside of the frame yeah. of the shoot, yeah. there's a ginormous pile of coats. <laughs> <laughs> and so when they say cut, all of these people just run across the Rush field for their a coat. pile of coats. You're not trying to get your own, just a fucking coat. No, you're, you're trying to get your own. Your own. Random oh, coat. Okay. Random yeah, that's, coat, you, you, random generally, coat. generally people are pretty good because everyone wants their coat. Yeah. And nobody wants a fight to break out or for anyone to get hurt because that'll yeah. stop everyone from getting their coats. Yeah. Coat fight! Yeah, no. I put like, you know... And Ten they, less than is what actually have, is needed. They also you know? have assistants. They have costuming assistants go into the pile of coats and lift two up and hold them up. Oh, that's oh, right. helpful. And then as soon as they're gone, get two Grab more. Two and more. That's yeah, helpful. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. And then people yeah. aren't bending over yeah. trying to get them. They, they try yeah. to yeah. not have massive <laughs> like piles of people. Yeah. I, l I fell asleep on the at the front of the stage at some <laughs> Doug and the Slugs concerts when I was a little kid <sighs> on Denman. They All the parents would put the the adults, I should. They weren't all parents. But, all the adults yeah. would throw their coats at the front of the stage on yeah, the on the ground, and us kids. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. You go past uh, okay. It. I think I was like three, though. I was wondering. I was like, where the Doug and the Slugs reference yeah, come from? Pile, but, of oh, coats. Yeah, pile of coats. Every time sense. I hear a pile of coats, I just want to crawl in there. That's great. Doug and the Slugs. That's great. <laughs> oh, that old band. I've seen them live too in Vancouver. <laughs> Slugs. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. So, Jason, have you decided? Uh, I, I I'm really torn on this one because I want to say a broken ski lift. Because if I'm in an elevator, then I'm going to get sweaty and possibly farty. And Just from it, the I want to know if I'm by Virgo. myself or with others. Yeah. That well, kind if of it deal. Was, if you were you by know. yourself, you'd rather be in there? I but think so. so because yeah. for the same reason, it, it it seems like it would be an easier rescue. Yeah. Or Which, easier out. What? Kind of deal. The elevator. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. But I've been stuck on a chairlift for like, it was almost eight hours. Oh. It was a long, long, you've already, long So you've already time. done that. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. And it sucked. So it that's really, on your really reverse shitty. bucket list. You've really already boring. done it. You check it off the I, thing. I contemplated jumping off, you know. Yeah. But I was like, ah, I could really break something. I think I remember you telling me about that during the movie. Yeah. In Jasper. Yeah. At Marmot Basin. <laughs> if there's enough yeah. snow. The chair was broke down and they couldn't figure out the, but yeah, it's hard how to, to get know. it going. And, yeah. From, you know, yeah. you look down at the snow. It's like, you know, it's like you're looking at water that is opaque. There could be spikes well, underneath. It could yeah. be an inch just that oh, shallow. Well, I guess it's not right over the, the track, hey? It's just... I, I'd skied it. I'd, I'd, I'd already skied, skied it. Okay. Like, I could even yeah. see my tracks so, yeah, and everything. Yeah. So I knew how thick it was. Okay. And it was like, okay. if I tumble off this far... And it was literally like, this is the last ditch thing if all of a sudden I hear a snap with the cable or something. Because oh, nobody told us anything. Okay. It, it was like, 
four or five hours or something, and Ski Patrol started coming up and yelling at people like, "Hey, but no, folks, it makes sense. Blah, blah, blah. Your mind would start going to, okay, so could I? How that, would I? That's literally yeah, I'm just to. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Even boredom kicked in. Yeah, after, after, after to take hour a three, piss. I'm just like, holy your shit! Your mind starts to go. Yeah. What are we? Can, what can we think yeah. about? Yeah. There was people standing, peeing and stuff off the edge, yeah, off yeah. the side of it, and everything. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Oh, Everybody got passes. We all got like vouchers, weekend passes, and right, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please come back. Yeah, yeah, that was a big deal. So. I don't know. Elevator. elevator. I think I can escape from elevator. I, I'm, I'll use all my, you know, 80s action movie knowledge and be able yeah, to Yeah, I have escape. these visions of like, it's like, like the bottom, the bottom three feet of the elevator is on a floor. Yeah. And if you're, you know, however big it is that you, you need it to like be to get through, through and you can crawl through yeah. and climb up another floor and jimmy yourself up or smash something. Or... I've just seen too many people chopped in half. <laughs> I mean, through. the other thing, of course, is the fear is like I've... <clears throat> You know, you're on the thirtieth floor, and the cable snaps. That's right, a, that's a draw. Right. Yeah. Which did you know, you know that's never actually happened that ever? Night. There's never been an elevator that's dropped. Nice. And so it's only like fair rides. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, just a drop okay. of doom, and yeah. Oh yeah, those crash and die all the time for sure. Parachute no, no, drops. but I mean, I've been on those where it's great because if you do it at the right time and you jump at the right time and yeah. they drop oh, yeah. you, you're in air the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your feet aren't so on anything. Great. You're, just you're literally free falling with it. Do you but like hold an inch on above to it. something while you do it, or just yeah, yeah. Because I'd be afraid of <laughs> yeah. And the whole the holding Splat. on though, the, the thing of like when you hold on, sort of you you immediately yeah, you pull immediately, yourself. You immediately right. get your foot on the thing. Anchor right. back in. That's yeah. that's the way to ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like yeah. you're like you this. Just get when a you buddy jump. to hold your shirt. <laughs> That's how I, I go on the treadmill. Is I no, because like the thing is, you you can't something touching when you do it at the right time. Like you can't you can't go slower. I guess. It's, it's a gravity you're thing. You're still falling. It's, you know, oh, okay. you're not going up. Okay. Six hundred. You're going down. Feet per second. There's no second, heat lamp balloons. You, you just and you don't jump much. Right. It's just like a little, like a little yeah. pop. Yeah. It's like on a boat. You know, when the boat sort of leaves yeah. you, you're just like, whoa! It's gravity kicking in now. And puke. <laughs> and puke. <laughs> I hold everybody's bags at the time. Go on them. Yeah. Every. Crew needs somebody to hold their stuff. It's true, you know. When everybody I'll else, I'll take your picture. And, and you have fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sort of the, the holder witness position is an important one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I tell myself. We're going to the ride to hold the line for us for the next ride. Yeah, while you guys go smoke a J. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's like being a living bookmark or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great. Gig, that's though. awesome. Living Just going bookmark. around. Just placeholder in just line and stuff. Just wear a bookmark yeah. outfit yeah. and everything. You, you, just can stand in you line like for me to you. hold your spot while you go take a leak? Or... $30 per line. Yeah. Line bookmark. I love this. You're on page 34. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just like... <laughs> if you're just super duper rich. Oh, hey, you're just... Uh, who's that? Oh, oh that's my living bookmark. <laughs> what does he do? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Wait till I get ready to read again. Yeah, by by no means read. Don't read digitally where it keeps yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. Hire a human. Yeah. <laughs> they took Re our jobs. Original, what page was I on? <laughs> 162, sir. Because okay. right, the person just and then your page there. turner would turn yeah. the pages they for you. They probably hold the book too. Your you'd book hire holder, a second person to hold the of book. Of course, oh, well, yeah. but Somebody have with your clean own hands. book with you. No, no, no. When you're not reading it, yeah, the, the the living bookmark has to have. Oh right. Oh yeah. Good call. They gotta be that's, touching. That's what the bookmark right. is. They just yeah. stand there with their finger in the page. Or you just sit. You sit Sticky. down like with you'd your thumb it. in there. Like, yeah, hold the book with your thumb in the page. You know. I got that. Or if you need need to rest, you can put it down. That's awesome. Cheetos in my book. What the? Okay, we've had it go. Too far. It's a long episode. <laughs> it's so a good far. one, though. I don't know. Some yeah. of that might be cut. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We never cut ah, anything. We'll, I don't think. We only cut out the Unless bad stuff. Unless you're like, oh, yeah, cut all that stuff. Cut out the racist stuff. You know, we cut out all the political, the you know, all the topless sexual, stuff. gender, so politics yeah, stuff. Yeah, We're hardcore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> topless stuff, that's gone. That's Sorry, folks. Out. You know, Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll try we'll better next time. Out. What about <laughs> bottomless? Oh, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Oh, we need fine. the boo here the whole yeah. time. We do anchor desk style here, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so thank much you. for coming and being on the show. It was super fun. Yeah, that was great. And, yeah, for uh, sure. Check us, Thank you out there. Check us out on uh, I don't know where are we at Facebook now? and Instagram at We Can Pick for sure, and on YouTube YouTube.com yeah. slash at We Can Pick. 
Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. It really helps us out. And uh, tell your friends, but uh, no dicks. Yeah, tell your cool friends. Unless their name's Richard, and they're a nice person. <laughs> we always have to put that disclaimer in now. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. any parting words? Yeah. Keep no pressure. Tight. No keep, pressure, though. Keep, keep your stick on the ice. Keep it tight. Uh, keep it real. Any keep it real tight. The people out there? Keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I just steal his. That'll work. Uh, I'm not really one for advice. All right. But, you know. I, uh, you, pl you put plenty of good nuggets of advice yeah, that's true. throughout the podcast. I think too. there'll be a lot of people that'll be like, oh, I mean, this, you know, like, I, I like saying things that I think are pieces of wisdom that help me. Yeah. Oh. But whether or not people pick them up is up to them. Right. There you I go. Know, yeah. I say it to share, not to like, yeah. you should do this. Yeah. That's <laughs> More like whole offering up, like, if this helps you, this, cool. It might resonate with yeah. somebody. To you all your disciples. Know. Up there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No, no I do not have disciples. No either. cult leader aspirations there for you. No, no I'm still trying me. to be my own disciple. That, that's a, that's there a you go. challenge. Thank <laughs> you. Just the one. Right? There you go. Just one. All right. All right. Be your, be your own, own disciple. disciple. That's, that's a good, a good word. word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good thing. It's not yet. Yeah, yeah, all right. Wrong word. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all just one word. Yeah. You got to say it really fast, like Godahowski. It's a hashtag. Oh yeah, it's another. Like he shoots you. All right. Love you all very much. Yay. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Wrapping it up in a nice little bow. I really hope you liked all of our stories. We don't really have an outro yet. <laughs> we hope we didn't cause too many boreys. That's when you get bored and you're like, fuck. This and you space out and you look over there. You don't want to quit <laughs> listening because you love us and you're putting up with our shenanigans.